Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So we're going to be starting a new campaign. We're going to play Tehenowin, Cult of Sotek, which has a bit of a... Well, at least in Warhammer 2, a bit of a rough start. I think it's a bit easier with uh, Warhammer 3, but it gets really powerful later on. So in terms of settings, we're going to put the in-game difficulty to 200. I'm not going to worry about making it happen early. I don't think that's a big deal in this campaign because there's none of the in-game crisis stuff actually happens nearby, I don't think. I will put ultimate crisis mode on, but that's not going to be the focus of this campaign. So we'll just, we'll see. We'll just see. Because it was kind of the focus of the previous campaign and eh, whatever. All right, it's cool, 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 cool. Let's move on. How am I? I'm well, thanks. Any plans for covering Total War? Okay. Did Slan get a buff? Are they any better at spellcasting? I have no idea. I haven't let her look at it. I'm going in this pretty much blind. <laughs> I didn't really play any Lizardmen in early access. It just wasn't what I was focusing on. I went and had a look at their skills and tech trees and stuff and was like, okay, more or less unchanged. Would you try Nakai? He's really good in Worm 3. Mm. We'll see. Let's see unit spam. No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I might get some blessed units, but I don't think I'll spam them. Alright. Alright, alright. So, we have no Clan Scrat to, to deal with here. Right off the bat, we should just go straight away to Sacrifice of Zuha. What do we got? Come on, Discipline. Discipline, Discipline. Not worth starting the campaign over again to try to get it. Alright, and let's avoid this. Who's the leader of Cult of Sucket? Cult of Sotek? It's a Hennowin. Uh, well, we could auto resolve this. Should we? Because we got a battle to do right after this. No, we should fight it manually. The first few fights, even if... Usually the fight that you have to begin with is not auto-resolvable. But maybe they le lull you into a false sense of security. Oh yeah, I'll just auto-resolve that. And then you fight the siege battle and it's like, oh sh shit. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. Would you consider reviewing a one-man poop stack? No, what's the point in that? Okay, look, dude, people do not want to watch videos on stuff that sucks, okay? They want to watch, like, things that are powerful. People, like, a, a one-man poop stack, no. Mm -mm. This is, that's, uh, that's gonna make a crap video. Literal crap. Okay. I'm gonna put all my guys on not fire at will because the, uh, the menace below that'll pop down will trigger them to come at us. Uh, we want the Plague Claw Catapult to be shooting, so let's put the Bastilles on our of Sotek up here, because if it gets hit, it's not really going to hurt it. And we can dodge it. Uh, why don't you go sit over there? Why don't you go over here? Cool. Oh yeah, waste that ammo. Okay, oh, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, no, 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 oh. <laughs> He's shot. Never mind, get back in here. How's that going? That looked like hit right in the middle of him, to some degree. Well, it was when I aimed it. It's doing... It. That's a really powerful ability, that one, especially since you get it on turn one. Melee Lords or Castle Lords with Bellicourt? Oh, definitely Castle Lords. Yeah, definitely Castle Lords. 
Well, actually, you know what? I never tested the melee lords. But still. Melee lords. Ah, uh, castle lords. I don't know, actually. Sure, it hasn't been hurt yet. That should be decaying any moment. Good. Yeah, don't shoot into this. Start going around that way. Change your mind about vassals following Bellacore campaign? Well, my position on them is that they're boring, and I haven't changed my mind about that. Yeah, va vassals are boring in Warhammer 3. Artillery's moving up this way. Alright, how am I going to get someone out there? These guys here don't stalk. And the artillery stops shooting at um, the Bastilodon. Oh, they're trying to do that, huh? Oh, we still hit him. Croxagors are kind of our fastest guys to go for it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get the Croxagors to just go straight at the uh, at the Plague Claw catapults because uh, they're coming straight for us here. Because yeah, they'll do so much damage to us if we're not careful. are they doing? A lot of units out here though. It's all just garbage apart from the um, plague monks. It's just scaven slaves, don't worry about too much. Come on, get at those artillery. Because, yeah, they do some serious damage, those guys. Can't get out of there. Alright, we got the artillery, but I'm not sure if the Croxagors are going to be able to hold for a particularly long time. That'll be good there while they're pinned down. And we don't want the Croxagors taking too much damage. If they can just take out the Plague Claw Catapults, I'll get them out of there. Oh, just a bit more, just a bit more. Oh damn, that ability just absolutely wrecked the... Um Clan rat spears there. Nice. Nicely done. Alright, cool. Now we're safer over here to fight. There we go. Got rid of the plague claw catapults. Okay, now. I've taken them a casualty. Just get them out of there. They've done their we're worth, they're worth as far as I'm concerned. I'm trying to keep my casualties overall at a minimum. So that we're, with the next fight, we're not really under a lot of pressure. Oops. Is there a reason for not using Tehenowin's magic? I, I did, that's why I sent him up that way. What are you, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I, did, I did do it. Oh, 
Legend, why don't you use any Stegodons here? It's... <laughs> the fuck, man! Oh, <laughs> I set him up there specifically to use Plug of Doom. So good, I think. Cool. Minimal damage, I think. I think that's better than what all the result would have yielded. Is Lord Keeper the best trait for vampires now? It gives plus 8 magic reserves. I don't know. I haven't really looked into that one. Is it bugged? Yeah, there's a lot of traits that are kind of bugged when it comes to Winds of Magic reserves. If it's bugged, then it's not worth it. If it's not bugged, then it's worth it. And what I mean by bugged is that if you're at, like, say, 100... So, let's just say 120 magic reserves and you fight a battle after the battle does it bring you back down to 100 because a lot of traits do that I just I just haven't looked into that with the vampire counts yet sorry it's not bugged then it's good cool yeah, if it's bugged then it's no good if it's not bugged then it's good You could kill him. Oh yeah, you're not gonna kill him. Too quick. Oh well. Left Grimgore with only one settlement at turn 20 when Ultimate Crisis kicked in. I subjugated him. He only got five armies, though. You probably only had it at strength 100. Maybe that was it. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Just leave him under siege with one settlement. and Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's cheese, dude. That's abusive gameplay. I hope you realize that you're abusing the game there. <laughs> That's not what the developers intend. Won someone please think of the poor developers? Nice, replenish all the casualties. Tahenoinsikaluba <laughs> What? Okay, whatever. Um let me just uh, skill up. Reserves reset to 100, but max stays at what it should be. Oh, then it's bugged. Then it's bugged. It also provides plus 3 magic generation per turn. Okay, that's... Okay, it's still bugged. Yeah. Ugh, I, I, I hate that bug. I hate it so much. Man, they put no care into Winds of Magic in this game. Whatever. Going back to your statement about vassals, in your opinion, what do you think CA can should do to make the system more engaging? Um, I don't know. I think you should have some more options to, to deal with vassals. 
Um, I don't know. I just I just don't find them interesting currently. Like an integration um, option could be interesting. Not that you would um, with Norska, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just like I play it and I just don't like vassals. It's not fun. You know, it's a very passive and boring way to play. Some people like it. I don't. And that's fine. It's not, it's just not... Like, here's the thing. Sometimes there's just going to be a mechanic that you just don't like. And no matter how much people say, Oh, but it's good. You're going to be like, Yeah, but I don't like it. You know? Then that vassals is that for me. You know? I've played EU4. You know? Anything short of that, I'm just not interested. But some of us don't like EU4. Yeah, that's fun. Like I said, it's subjective. You know? It's subjective. And I just don't like the way the vassals play in Warhammer 3. Or Warhammer 2, or 1, or whatever. I just don't like vassals. Eligoat Gurney did a five dollars object. You reckon complete overhaul, or is there actually a chance to save minor city sieges as they are so intensely easier and boring as the attacker? Um, I don't think it needs an overhaul. I think they just need to reduce the frequency of them. That's all. Thanks, Super Chat. We don't need route much, we've arrived at our destination. But legend, I like something. Why won't you please like it as well? <laughs> like I, I enjoyed the Bellacore campaign. I really did. I played a little bit today in my own time. I just I can't care about the vassals. I just can't care about them. It's just not a it's just not a good system for me. It's boring. You know, having a bunch of um allied forces that basically throw themselves at the AI, giving them free experience. Uh doing things like besieging settlements and not launching the attack when I wanted to take the settlement, fucking up my strategies. Um not listening to what I tell them to do. Um, most of the time, I just want my vassals to stay the fuck out of my way. And they don't do that. They get in my way. Um, you know, I just don't like them. You know, today, um, I was playing the Bellicor campaign. And the Tong went and besieged a Greenskin settlement that I was going to. Um, that I was going to go take it. And they besieged it. It was just a minor settlement. They besieged it with a full stack. And they just sat there for three turns besieging it. I was like, fucking attack it, you bitch! And they wouldn't fucking attack it. Do you know what happened? A full fucking greenskin army came to reinforce them. And, uh, and wiped the fucking army out. I was like, you bitch, I could have taken that. And I would have just given it to them. But they... They're stupid! They're so stupid! So I'm just like, I don't like... I don't like the vassal system. You know? They, the, your, your vassals can cock block you and, and hinder your progression. Sure, they're great as meat shields or whatever, but the game's not difficult enough that you would need it. They just they get in my way. You know, you should never besiege and hold and like lay siege to a minor settlement siege if you have a full stack. You just should never do it. And the AI sat there for three turns and a Greenskin army came and lifted the siege. Ah, that was so frustrating. <laughs> you know. You know, and I watch they send half a stack into the empire and sit there and raid, and then they just end up getting killed and giving free experience to the, to the enemies. Like, they're just so unbelievably stupid. And they can actually hinder you. But they provide you with the money. Blech. Rex Teresia did a MYR6 super chat. How many spells do you deem worthy of overcasting? There's not many. Not many. Five? Thanks, super chat. But again, you know, some people like vassals, and that's cool. That's cool, but I just I can't get into it.
That's why I always try to, try to keep my vassals as weak as possible, because I literally don't want their help. Like, stay the fuck out of it. Be a, just give me money. And fuck off. <laughs> you know? Just go away. You useless shit. I don't need your help. So in essence, you just like Royce of Chaos rework? No, no, no. I, I do like the Royce of Chaos rework. It just... I just don't like vassals. That's all. I don't like vassal spam. Like I said, they get in my way. Did you practice that or are you coming into it fresh? Coming into it fresh. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> no idea. You know, it's definitely better than what it was in Warhammer 2, the uh, the vassal system, because they were really bad in Warhammer 2. Really, really bad. They've definitely made improvements, but, you know, like I said, I've played Paradox games, and I get that some people don't like Paradox games, but I do, and I, I like what Paradox has done for the most part with vassals. And, uh, Total Wars is not there yet. It's just not there yet. You know, I think they'll get their revenge. Eh, well, we'll see. That's an integral for them. Okay. The systems is not very good yet. My vassals frustrate me to no end. Oftentimes, I just wish I didn't even have them. They're not helpful. They only ever build bloody half stacks on legendary difficulty, so no point bloody borrowing their armies. Um, they, you know, go off somewhere and get absolutely dumpstered by the AI, just giving them free experience. So I end up having to fight stronger armies in the long run. You know? From a strategic point of view, all I want my vassals to do is submit and then stay home. You know? I wish I could just tell them, hey, be passive. Don't go and attack. You're done. Okay? I don't need you giving seven levels up to enemy legendary lords out there because you positioned yourself really badly. Sort of thing. So, I, yeah, like I said, it's just a case of I just don't enjoy um, vassals in Warhammer 3. Just don't like them. You can order allies to defend specific settlements, whether they do that as another story. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I, I just, I've had them ignore my orders before. And I just, I don't know. I just don't really like it. Alright, I think that's the army losses there. Yep. Alright, cool. But yeah, the uh, the vassal system is the least enjoyable part of a uh, of the Warriors of Chaos campaign for me. You make good point. Paradox lets you outright tell your vassals to defend our territory. Well, another th here's the thing with with uh, vassals in in EU four or other paradox games that you have more ways to interact with them, right? Firstly, and then the next thing is that if they go and besiege a settlement you can go and assist their siege, right? 
Now, like I said, today I was playing a little bit of the Bellacore campaign and the Tong besieged a Greenskin settlement. I was on my way to do that. They just got there one turn before me and they didn't assault the settlement. It was just a minor city. They didn't assault the settlement, right? And then they laid siege for three turns and then a reinforcing Greenskin army came and lifted the siege. I could have taken it, but by them besieging it, they they made sure that I couldn't do it. They blocked me from taking the settlement, which I was just going to give to them anyway, right? Because it wasn't worth anything to me. So they hindered my progress. Um, now in, in Rome 1 and Medieval 2, you could besiege a settlement that was already under siege by an ally. So if they're dicking around, you can go in and assault ahead of them. But in war, and ever since those games, so Empire Total War onwards, you can't besiege a settlement that is already under siege. With one exception, Black Arcs. Black Arcs can bypass it. It's actually hilarious how Black Arcs can, how they can bypass other people's sieges. You know? And unfortunately, the way the experience system works, you know, when you watch, when you watch a vassal army that is half a stack sail around, discovering new enemies that declare war on you, and then wandering into the empire, and just like sitting in the middle of it raiding, and then they get absolutely dumpstered on by a full stack, and you just watch as that lord laughs as it gains experience. It's like, one day I'm going to have to fight that army. And because of that idiot vassal, it's going to be stronger because of it. I just think it's just, it's just not a good system. Matthew did a 1.79 pound super chat. Do you think Total War in 40k settings is even possible? Yeah, it's possible. But anyway, enough on the uh, enough on the vassals. You know, I get that some people like the vassal system and that's cool. Um, you're just not going to be able to convince me that it's... It's, uh, it's fun. It's just not fun. It's very passive and I just don't like it. I did enjoy the Bellacore campaign. I did enjoy it. But not because of the vassals. Ooh, Chameleon Skinks at the start. I'm gonna grab them. I like Chameleon Skinks now. I used to not like them, but now I do. Uh, it would be better if we had Oxyodal, which... We're not playing that campaign, so... Uh, I could get Red Crested Skinks. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're playing to Henowin. Should we lean into... Let me have a look here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get chameleon skinks. I I can do a lot with this unit. Yeah, and it's essentially got fifty percent missile resistance unless they got magic missiles, so that's pretty good. Alright. And if we're going up against Tomb Kings next, yeah, it would be good if we have an army that doesn't take loads of casualties. Yeah. Yeah, that would be better, because they they can spam out armies. Alright, and over here, let's get growth, and let's research Tablet of Stinks. Nah, I don't need that. Alright, so I think the next target should be these guys here. Clan Pestilence is likely going to be a pest, but we'll see about that. Okay, let's have a look here, so... Prince of yeah, it is not often that your... I will see to it. I'm never in <laughs> There, pay the proper price. <laughs> wow, legend, you scored 22 extra gold. Now that right there is what's called penny pinching. All right, let's have a look at the, these um, edicts. So, growth 20, income from more buildings. That would be good to begin with. Research rate 4%. Okay, so this is what people are talking about. Construction time minus 1 for all buildings. Apparently, this is a global bonus. So, if we have a look at the moment. 
Yeah, that would be good, but right now, I think we'll do with this one, but we can always switch it later. That's good. Let's try it. Let's... Yeah. Yeah, that is... That's... That's new. Woo! Yeah. Well, let's get the growth going first. Yeah. Alright, then... Yeah. I'm gonna make a rush at these guys as quickly as I can. How to confend with Lizardman? Diplomatically, it's uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see how it goes. Alright, alright, I think I've done everything I can. Public order should be fine. Let's move on. Do you like any of the Immortal Empire siege maps? I like the maps. I do pretty much, there's a few maps I don't like. I actually like more maps that I don't like, right? Um, the maps aren't the problem. The problem is the AI. The AI is extremely dumb. And... I don't like how in major city battles, like walled cities, there are two capture points that you have to hold. It gives the defender a disadvantage. It makes the attacker... It just gives the attacker loads of options. With a few exceptions. Um... So there's def like everything that is currently in this game, like in terms of sieges, is fixable. They're just not making any serious effort to do it so far. That's the that's the biggest problem. It's all fixable. They just haven't done it yet. All right. It looks as though we. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I'll. Well, I guess we'll find out. So find out. Not, not worth force marching there. Ooh, are we gonna make it? It's a It's a It says we'll make it, but sometimes it lies. Because what I could do is force march to here, but then I wouldn't be able to recruit more units because I'm gonna leave the province, so I'm not gonna get any more of these. So I gotta get him now. Mm. Are there any changes with the Cult of Sotek? Uh, did, this is as far as I've played so far. Sorry, I'm going into this kind of blind. Yeah, when we get there, we're probably going to have to just recruit regular skinks. I think waiting around in your starting province to get a full stack is one of the newbiest things that you can do. Oh, Legend, I feel personally attacked by that. <laughs> you should feel. Yeah, you should never, ever sit around doing nothing. Remember to buy a skink chief? Oh, yeah. Not essential, but I should have checked. You're right, I should have checked. Second recruitment army? Mm, yeah, but that costs money. And honestly, even a half stack should be able to handle anything out here. Do you play faster or slower when you play off stream? I, I play slower. Pompous. Mm. Fleet footed, alright. Yeah, there was a pompous one here. Okay. I always capitalize traits. Thank you for my next campaign. <laughs> Good, we do actually make it. It didn't lie to us. Yeah, recruiting another army to do that right now. If, if we had more cash, I'd do it, but... Nah, uh, not, not yet. Alright, so next turn, we're going to have enough um, growth to go up to tier 2 here. Now, if I switch this over to here, we could make it be built in 4 turns instead of 5. But, we really do need to just keep growing anyway, so the fact that it's going to take 5 turns as opposed to uh, 4 is not a big deal for us. 
Hang on, before I do this. My advisors beat it that okay. we make a I was just checking to see if they were at war with anyone. Which they weren't. Yeah, I should have hired that guy and attached it's it in. Wet. That was a mistake. You could send someone to make Oxy. Yeah, but it's not really going to do anything right now. It just isn't worth it. Like, what are, what are we going to trade with him? What for? We have no tradable goods. So, just don't worry about it right now. Do it. We'll do it when it, when we need to. Sometimes doing things early is a is is a bad idea. Uh, should we order this? Because I have no idea where their army is. Oh. So many people auto-resolve these kind of battles and then just immediately get attacked. And CA does put these traps in the game for you. If we fight it manually... Yeah, I, I know people hate these. It's too early in the campaign for us to be li being lazy. It's way too early. I'm fairly sure I can get a decisive victory here. Which I think gives us more experience. Uh, Garrett Ratchford did a ton of some shit. Are Cathay units bounced around the harmony mechanic, or is it just a bonus like martial mastery or murderous prowess? It isn't always easy to maintain, and units feel weak without it. Um, I don't know what they're bounced around. You have to ask Creative Assembly about that. Um, I didn't find any problem with them whenever I used it, so I'm not sure. Thanks for the chat, though. Appreciate it. Is it best to prioritize growth over income builds in the early turns? You need to balance the two. The, okay, so if you go full growth, but you can't afford the buildings, then you're not going to grow. If you don't go any growth and go full money, you'll end up with a surplus of money and no growth. So you got to balance it out. It's, it's a juggling act. You need both. You know. It's kind of like melee attack and weapon strength. You need both in order to make it work. I love chameleon skinks now. Okay. Okay, okay. Towers. Uh, let's see. They went with barricades. That's good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we want to try to make sure we do this minimal casualties because you never know what's going around the corner. Any advice for Boris IE campaign? I haven't played it, sorry. How's Teeny Weenie these days? Played three turns so far. Seems fine. Just stay right still for me there. That'd be fucking fantastic. Good, we got Neheka Nehekara warriors coming down here for us to shoot. Tower coming in over here though. It didn't kill him, but it did some damage. Do you know if you will cover Katarina campaign anytime soon? I can't predict the future, sorry. I, I'm not opposed to it. I do like Katarina's campaign. It's quite challenging, and uh, you, but you've got the tools that you need, so I, I do enjoy playing Kislev. I got no problem with difficult campaigns as long as it's fun, and it is fun. So yeah, I don't, I just don't know if I'm going to cover it soon. That's all. That's all. It's on my to-do list. Alright, 
tower over there. Let's tower over here. Let's start moving around. No, let's send these two and three in here to cap that. Good spots to do right now. Yeah, chameleon skinks are a good choice for minor city sieges. Stork is so good in Warhammer 3. These are Nehekara warriors. Do you think CA will design faction specific stuff like for defending sieges to spice the game up? Like not just towers and barricades for factions, maybe traps? Seems yes. unlikely, but that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Uh, I, I don't think that they're actually going to do that, though. Uh, because you have to understand that Creative Assembly is a small family business. Please understand. <laughs> you know. You can't, you can't expect them to actually develop new mechanics. They might. Like, they might. I'm, I'm being mean, but they might. I just, I just don't know. Yeah, if they're going to come in here, that's fine. God, there's only one more point to go. Oh, these chameleon skinks, they are just doing so much work for me. Any plans for an Azazel or Hentai stream? Just asking a question. Hen okay. No hentai stream. Unless that was like a reference to something, which... Yuck. Um, Azazel... Look, I'm probably not going to cover Warriors of Chaos again anytime soon. But I'm not opposed to covering Azazel later down the track. Stuff for major kill? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. No hate on on hentai, but uh, yuck. <laughs> no thanks. That is sharp. He did the most amount of damage to us. But it's evenly spread out damage, so if we could just get the win. Come on. It's a race. If we could just get the win, we'll likely recover really quickly. Come on. Come on. You gotta be quick. Oh, lucky. Just in time. Just in time there. Not a reference to anything, just memeing. Happy to see a major smile. Oh yeah, it's okay. Uh, will you be playing factions which are considered to be unbalanced on fun moment, like Karl Franz or Kislev? Okay, Karl Franz no, Kislev yes. 
I don't think I don't think Kislev is is unbalanced or unfun. Um, I just think it's tough. Whereas Carl Franz's mechanics, they just don't work well in Warhammer Three. They need they need to rework their systems. Like their systems are just not fun in Warhammer Three. They they really need they need to go in and have a look at it. It worked in Warhammer Two, but barely. But in Warhammer Three, no, it just doesn't work in the current system. They need to go back in and, and tweak it a bit. Hmm. It seems like the way to get um, captives is by fighting field battles. Uh oh. <laughs> this game has a real lack of those kind of battles. Uh, Toby Bowden did a five pound super check. Bring some UK legend. Keep the good work. Also, what has been your favorite and least favorite addition to Women 3 overall? Least favorite addition is the Winds of Magic change. Absolutely hate it. Um, favorite edition is fusing items. Thanks for the chat. White Slam did a 4.49 pounds of chat. Television on the streams. Thanks for many hours of entertainment. No, right, dude. Appreciate you. Thanks for all the support over the years. Appreciate it, dude. Um, how in lore do you deal with endgame crisis vampires? You beat them. I don't know. You just gotta beat them in battle and grind them down. There's no, like, no special trick to it. You just gotta, gotta win battles. Alright, so more Flock of Doom would be good. I like that spell, kind of. Alright, so that's making money. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just play Carl like Anticity yesterday. Yeah, look, good on Intensity for doing such a challenge, but that, like, I'm trying to actually enjoy this game. <laughs> if I if I play Carl Friends like that, I will end up not having fun, and I'll need to take a fucking month long holiday. I'm just not up. I'm like, that's the kind of campaign you do when you're healthy, like mentally, and I'm just not. So I, I'm not in any state to do that. Maybe maybe I'll do, attempt something like that later down the track, but right now it would be a bad idea for me to do something like that. Like that'll that'd make me rage something serious because that does that looks like the least fun campaign I could possibly think of. Um, Yon seven oh four did a five dollar super chat. So take more like so wrecked. Okay, please super chat. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> All right, let's get some skinks. Oh, I should have hired this guy in turn one. My whoopsies. Alright, now with this here, I think we should get rid of it. In exchange for money, because we're not exactly making a ton. And I can rebuild this again later, because we've got the Skink Chief. I'm probably not going to be getting any more Chameleon Skinks from here. I'm just not coming back this way for a long time. As much as I do want Chameleon Skinks, I know I could recruit a new Lord and, and recruit more of them, but honestly, we, we should just make do with what we've got. And, yeah. I, I'm just, I just don't go backwards. Just don't do it. Uh, that's not horrible. Apart from money costs. No, not if I'm only recruiting those. Yeah, I, I'm reluctant to do that, but I need the money building, because we're just not making good cash at the moment. We need to make big, big bucks. You have research tied to that building? Wait until then. It'll keep researching, even even though it's been destroyed. It's It'll be fine. So if someone's asked before, I never play lizards. Who is the best lizard lord right now? Well, I don't know, sorry.
are in the entirety of two provinces, current total 20. I mean, I'll take the win. Oh, this is what people were saying. That his missions are completed automatically. <laughs> uh, small family business, please understand. <laughs> Alright, it might be quicker if you sail this way. Well, alrighty. Okay, then. Well, thanks for the... Okay, hang on. What do we have to do? We need to perform five rituals in order to get to the next tier. Alright, well... Let's see what we got. Uh, blessing Chameleon... Oh, Blessed Chameleon Skinks could fill up our ranks instead. It's 250, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually what I do with the Hennowin is actually go Ark of Sotek Doomstack. He does really well with it. Oh, if I ever got, um, Oxyodal, that's what I would do. Blessed Chameleon Skinks, that'd be so good for him. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's... Alright, I don't have enough to, to max it out one way or another anyway, so let's just leave it. For, for now. Yeah. Do the movement bug? Oh, uh, I could. I look, I look, I'm trying not to do the movement bug because, like, it does trivialize things a little bit. Yeah, I could do the movement bug, but I I'm not going to. You gotta have a little bit of restraint with some of these exploits. I, I get it. I get it. It's there, and sometimes I deliberately don't, don't do it, but you gotta... Just gotta hold out. Yeah, we just gotta get those sacrifices done. We gotta get the, uh, the sacrificial offerings. It's just gonna take time. Okay, equally strong. Okay, uh, what about some diplomacy? Let's have a look. Yep. Print. Cool, alright, let's move on. With Obstinate Skink, plus 50% income local, you're playing the richest faction currently. With the commandment, another 25%, and buildings, plus 20, 10%. That is my favorite. Obstinate Skink. Is that a lord, or is that a hero? CA pulling in average of 240 million per year revenue. Multiple for gaming industry right now, 4x right now. Which means back of bar napkin valuation around US 960 million. Okay. CA removed the gold mine from Thrice Coast Peak. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. So they've got a full stack sitting at the Golden Colossus. Right, this guy can join up in the army after we've taken this. Okay, since we know where their army is, we can probably auto-resolve this. Because we'll recover by the time they... Not necessarily. Uh, it says decisive victory, just... It should be fine. Oh, 15! It's an ancillary from Cult of Sotek mechanic. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, well, I'll look at I'll look into that stuff when we get it. I'll look into it. I'm not I'm not worrying about economy cheeses right this very second. But yeah, we'll look into it a little bit later. Okay. 
Okay. Wild Heart really isn't that necessary anymore since it um, gives you like an arcane conduit, but just temporary. We just get arcane conduit. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Which one are we going to go down? Let's have a look. Just planning things out. So we've got... Buffs to the army. Right. All of this is Lord's army, no global bonuses. Whereas Promises of Reconstruction gives global bonuses to public order, which is good. Local income, good. Uh, reduced Winds of Magic there, that's pretty good. Reduced upkeep cost for Bastilodons, Ark of Sotek. Sacrificial offering. Yeah, I usually go down promises of reconstruction. It's just that the bonuses are better. Hmm. Ambush success chance could be useful. Yeah, I usually do try to reduce the upkeep cost of my armies as lizard men. I'll try going down there. Because I got I got flock of demons. The only spell is really worth getting right now. Hey listen, should I devote my exalted heroes to Corn or Nurgle? I was actually looking into that today, and I'd say Nurgle. Yeah, Nurgle seems better. But Legend, you said that Nurgle is the worst of the t t Chaos Demons. <laughs> uh, let's see. Vanguard de deployment for all skink units is pretty good. Recruit rank is also good, but yeah, let's let's head towards that. I can do a lot with Vanguard deployment. Alright, now, with their army here, we do need to bait them, so we're gonna need... That's... okay. Hmm. It's not gonna be in locally owned region, I don't think. I, I, I like the Croxagore Ancients. I'm going to get this guy here. Yeah, because he's got strategies, so he'll be able to keep up a little bit easier. Alright, let's have a look in Diplomacy. Probably isn't anything. Uh. My dynasty reigns supreme. Nurgle cast Warriors can get shot by cannons. Uh, he's talking about Exalted Heroes, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you want to go corn army and use magic. Yeah, it, it depends on what you want to do. But typically speaking, uh, the exalted hero of Nurgle is straight up better than the one of corn, Unless you are specifically trying to build a corn army. In which case, you may want to get the corn authority. At least uh, Nurgle and corn aren't mutually exclusive. Or, like, contradictory. So they're not gonna. If you're building a corn army, you could definitely put Nurgle heroes in there, and it should be okay. But you know, you want to get that authority up. All right. So far, so good. We've just got this settlement here. We've got to draw out that garrison, otherwise, we'll not necessarily because we could sneak in there with with the skinks and just cap the town square but we should fight a field battle anyway because that's how we get bloody captives yeah we're gonna try to get as many field battles as possible probably should have fought that manually because i don't think we're gonna spend another turn here in hindsight because like that did do a lot of damage to us it, it'll be fine but it did do more damage than i thought all right let's move on honarius did a four dollar twenty super chat whole ass skinks okay thanks dude appreciate it Province income icon in province tab is chaos favor bug. Yeah, that's bug. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's not that bit. It's just a graphical bug. What made you decide to Henneman out of the Lizardman campaigns? It's always been my favorite out of them. 
Lego Lasperius did a ten dollars super chat. Thanks for suggesting Norse guys first camp. Enjoy it. No, it's my pleasure. Okay, he's coming at me. Okay. Okay. It's at the soul. Yeah, the AI knows where to stand. A doctor. Meh. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't look like desert to me. That looks like fucking jungle. Yeah, it's all 46%. There's a decent chance of being pulled out of ambush dance. That's all. Because I doubt this guy here will attack us. Yeah, we're stronger than him. So if I don't go into ambush dance, he'll just like um, he'll just run back. We want to fight him. So I've got to. So hmm. How are we gonna do this? All right, you stand there, and you stand. Here. No, you stay over on this side. You want to stay as far away from him as possible. The further you are away from him... Oh, but then again, this guy here can detect us from this distance. Uh, but this guy goes first, so he's not going to detect it. Okay, so if you stand right there, and then you also go into Force March. And then we just have to hope that he takes the bait. Yeah. Switch to Cunning Lord. Yes, that is a good idea. Yes, now we have 56% chance. That, that was a good idea. Thanks, dude. Alright, and... Oh, it doesn't cost money anymore. Well, alright then. Oh yeah, that provides 50% ambush chance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not worried about ambush success chance. I'm worried about ambush being um, pu pulled out. Ambush success chance has no bearing on whether or not you get pulled out of ambush success. I don't need to ambush them, right? I don't need to ambush them. I just need to stay undetected. Because if this guy launches the attack on this one, that's fine. So 100% ambush success chance isn't needed here. You know, while an ambush might be better, it's not critical. The main thing here is just... Oh, hang on a sec. Ah, oh, never mind, never mind. Okay. But detection is not the same as success? That's right. The ambush success rate is has no bearing on detection rate. So detection rate is based on two factors the distance from other characters and also the type of terrain that you're ambushing in so being in like low um ambush success rate territory like desert gives you a high chance of being detected being close to enemy heroes gives you a high chance of detection um going into like jungle or mountains gives you a low chance of detection that's why i was looking for a specific spot so we it doesn't matter what our ambush success chance is as long as it remains undetected. How is your intercession metric still the worst? I'd say so, yeah. Yeah. So it all just depends on whether or not that ambush gets detected. And the ambush success chance, like I said, has no bearing on that. It either will or it won't. We got we got detected. Sometimes you just don't get lucky. Let's 
Like I said, the terrain was shit for it. We'll just need to, um, just need to try again. He can actually reach, but if I attack him, he'll run away. So, now it's just, we just gotta hope he doesn't get detected. I don't know what else we can do. It just, there's always a chance of it happening. <laughs> it's just always a chance. Yeah. Yeah, these things happen. It's alright. There's a pretty high chance of being detected. I'm fairly close to him. But I wanted to try to catch up. Come on, don't get detected, don't get detected, don't get detected, doesn't matter. Okay, we didn't get detected, and... Ambush didn't work, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We didn't need the ambush to work, we just needed... The battle to actually happen. Alright, now, he's got a minute 14 to come in. They've got a minute 14 to beat us, which they'll never get to us in time. Done deal. Any tearless videos coming soon? Probably not for a while. A moose named Bob did a $5 super chat. Can you recruit multiple lords in IE and farm the research rate? Rapance, Ikit, Thorgrim, and then save those lords and then load them into new campaigns? Yes, you can do that. Thanks, super chat. Why am I not getting clan contract possession? Is it bugged? Um, the, the timer can sometimes be bugged. Sometimes it's set to 10 turns and just doesn't tell you that. But yeah, if you're not getting contracts after 10 turns of not having a contract, then it's bugged. But I've never seen that happen. The AI never thinks to go and park over there. And even if they did, I'd just move it to a different spot. Yeah, the worst thing about this, though, is that um, Tehenowin is not going to get a lot of experience because he's not the primary lord involved here. through that. Which, we did hit them, but they didn't walk right through it. It did delay them, though. What if you withdrew the Soros? Would Tehenwin be the primary lord then? No. Um, Elias Baby did a 5 pound super chat. Oh, yeah, I love the Lizardmen. Thanks for the great content. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. I enjoy Lizardmen too. No, the only way to make Tehenwin the primary lord is if he was attacked personally, which that dude was never going to do, or if um, we are the attacker, in which case the ambush needed to succeed, which it didn't. But yeah, it's, sometimes with that stuff, you just don't get lucky. No, it's okay. Getting to Henna when ridiculous amounts of experience is less important than actually beating these guys quickly. Yeah, 
All looking pretty good so far. This guy's taking a bit too much damage to pull him back. Voice fans saw this guy veterans on foot to be kind of shit fighters, unless they're fighting against large units. Otherwise, they tend to lose a lot. Okay, this one's getting shot. Let's move back. It hasn't taken any casualties yet, but it's really there. Yeah, I'm taking some. Come on, give me that arm. This is. There it is. Cool. Get out of the way. Get cursed. Cool. I think that's better than what. Yeah, it's better than what. Water is what it is. How to reduce waiting time for multiplayer campaign in IE? <laughs> Find a partner? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, man. Have you tried downloading more RAM? That might help. Yeah, I think you might have a RAM issue. <laughs> uh, Will's Paul did a 2 euro super chat. What faction should I play? Whatever you want, uh, give uh, Bellacor a go. Okay, thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Cool, we got a helm of Discord. Oh wow, we didn't get many sacrificial offerings. Oh, you, yeah, you only ever get fifty. Yeah, we need them. Is it normal to not be able to recruit Croxagor Lord as Crocar? Yeah, if you don't have the DLC. A quest has been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary though, for while the potential rewards are great, 
so too are the perils. Alright, cool. We don't need this guy here anymore. Thanks for the assist. We don't need that. It's at the Sute. Yeah, we should be able to reach there next turn, no problem. It's a qua, it's a nuetta. Yep. And they got one level up because of that. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Better than no level up. Alright, how are you going against pests? Oh god, that was quick. Oh wait, no, they start off with two settlements. Okay. I have the DLC. Uh, okay, then I don't know, sorry. I haven't played a, a, um, a uh, Last Defender campaign, so I don't know why. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I'm not Total War Help Desk. I, I get that, you know, you know people want to ask this stuff, but I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, I haven't had time to play all the campaigns yet. I don't know. Could be that the DLC is not active on your account. I had that problem with um, my Wood Elves, with some of the DLC just deactivated, and then just it fixed itself over time. I don't know what it was. Did see I mentioned why they took out room puzzles? Man, they don't—they don't tell me shit. That, well, they didn't tell me shit. Maybe they were abusable in some way. Yeah, the player was able to get pretty cool benefits out of it, so we found that that was abusable, so we took it out of the game entirely. Uh, look, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Maybe they just haven't been implemented in fully yet. I just I don't know. I know they were in at one point. Alright. That's all we need to do, I think. Let's have a look at diplomacy. Yeah, there's nothing there, because we don't have any tradable goods. And let's move on. Dynasty. Care that Skrulk doesn't come from behind and over the mountains. Yeah, I've been keeping an eye on Skrulk. We don't have a border with him yet, so as soon as we do have a border with him, we'll we'll, um, we'll take it seriously. But we we don't yet. So I reckon we take out um, take out these idiots, and then I think we'll meet Rakaf, and I think we should be okay to fight him. But yeah, uh, I'm not that concerned about pestilence. Tehenowin is a eunuch? Well, actually, all... Ooh. All lizardmen are eunuchs, because they don't have genitalia. They're, all all lizardmen are basically biological automa uh, automatons. So they don't have dicks. Like greenskins. Greenskins don't have dicks. Does that mean that all greenskins are actually female? Does that mean that Grimgor Ironhide is actually a girl? You'll never look at Grimgor Ironhide the same now. He has no dick and balls. But all greenskins, all orcs, have the ability to reproduce. Does that then make them female? Because they do it asexually. And yeah, lizard men, they don't reproduce asexually. They're just spawned. They, you know, they're, they're basically biological. Crafted. Grim girl Ironhide. <laughs> oh, look, minus 10 relations with the ghosts of Pahoax is not a big deal. I don't think they're going to declare war on me. Oh, look, a ginger can't reach. Have we even met them? We have. They like us. There we go. That fixed things up. Fixed it. 
Okay, something to consider now is that I do actually have enough to satisfy the conditions for um, completing the first objective. However, in order to do that, I would have to spend one on 150 and then the remaining three on 100. Um, hang on, just before we do that, let me just check a few things. Uh, William Webb did a final subject. Workhammer doesn't care about gender fluidity. All they care about is making a beta that is filled with... Yeah, I, look, I'm not going to really play into that, but thanks to the chat. Look, I was just joking and stuff. I get that you were just having a joke, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Silly shot. Yeah, you're going to ruffle, ruffle a few thousands of that. Uh, raise or sack the following number of settlements for some blessed skink skirmishes. Raise or sack. I'm obviously not going to raise it. If we have a look. Oh, I might be able to get away with sacking it. Yeah, it's going to be tier... Oh, oh, God, there's a big garrison. Yeah, it should be fine to sack it. How much longer do we have this for? Two turns, okay. Alright, well, I really want to get this done, so we go... And then we need to do another one of these. Alright, so for the next one, we have to own the entirety of three provinces. Apparently, that'll just get activated instantly. Win three battles against Skaven. I thought I said five, but that's fine. Uh, construct a Blood Shrine of Sotek. Cool. Uh, perform five rituals of the following category. Sacrifice. Okay. Which means they're all sacrifices. So I just have to do... According to this, I just have to do five rituals to make this work, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now, as soon as we do this, all Skaven are at war with all Lizardmen. Diplomacy with Skaven is locked. Diplomacy with um, Lizardmen is locked. But once we do that, we get some pretty hefty bonuses, I think. Oh, wait. No, it's already happened. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, on the plus side, all of the uh, the lizard men will like me a lot now. Oh, yeah, big time. The Great Scare War has begun. Yeah, prepare bomb hole. Uh, we're, we're okay, we don't have all of them yet. Speak. Find my harem. Okay. It's a qua. It's a nuet. I thought it was funny. It's fine, it's fine, dude. It's fine. I just, it's one of those areas where it's like, eh, if you go too far down that rabbit hole, it's not a good idea. All right, let's have a look at this map here. Let's see if we can use our chameleon skinks to just like steal it. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's possible that we can sneak in. It is possible. But we should try to keep them as tied down over here as possible. Yeah. Yeah, because if we, I believe if we complete this objective, we will get 10% physical resistance, all armies, which is very nice. Ancient defending it on my subject. Yeah, look, here's the thing. If it's if it's, it wasn't really funny, it just was it's just not a hill worth dying on. I'm not just not gonna play into it. Just yeah, just just let that one go. You gotta pick your battles. You gotta pick your battles. If you if you try to fight every every bloody thing, you know, you're just gonna get nowhere. Alright, I want these ones over here. Uh, no, I don't. Silly Sotek! Yes, so tech is silly. That's too much. Just, just these two. Okay, do not fire at will. Alright, looks like we've got a fairly clear path towards the plaza up here. But we need to get in. Devil's Triangle became a member for 27 months. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Alright, well, effect 3. That's pretty good. We lost the super chat, I guess. No? Oh, sorry. Alexander B did a 4.49 pound super chat. To you in the live chat, if Total Warhammer 40k was made, which faction would you play first and why? Um, well, it depends on... We have no idea what would be available, firstly. Um, but probably Space Marines. I don't know, man. But, uh, thanks, thanks super chat. Sorry I missed it. Tau would almost certainly be a DLC race. We just need to try to keep as many of their units pinned down over here so they don't go checking out this way. 
there's also a chance that our guys will just straight up fail in what we're trying to do. The more units we put up here, the more likely we are to succeed. Basically, we send this one in, pop it in, and then just get out again. We need to start moving our guys over here. Uh, actually, move them over here because the um, the artillery would get us if we're not careful. Let's make it seem like we're going to attack from over here. They'll shift their forces over this way a little bit. Again, it brings them fairly close up this way, but not the whole way. Slash weirdly? I was, yes, I was slash weirdly. Alright, now we just gotta hold out for as long as possible. And then we've, uh, we've won. Doesn't look like they're bringing any units over here yet. Isn't it convenient for the Hedowin to fight whilst holding a heavy slab stone in one hand? Uh, yeah, probably, but you're thinking about logic, and this is Warhammer, logic doesn't apply. It's fantasy. But yeah, it doesn't look, it doesn't look right. Finally won the Battle of Elysia on Legendary, only took me nine years to end as a ball egg. So you've been doing it non-stop for nine years? Until you actually managed to win it? Oh, kudos to you. Man, imagine doing that non-stop for nine years until you actually managed to win it.
I owned a Bellicor. It wasn't popular, so I canned it. Are you planning to keep this Salamander hunting pack around? Uh, not indefinitely. Do you like Salamanders better, less, same? Uh, same as Warhammer 2, which is meh. They're just a meh unit, as far as I'm concerned. They're okay. If CA added an Aussie faction, what would their faction mechanic be? Uh, don't know, man. We wouldn't have a faction mechanic because we don't have culture. It just it just wouldn't have a faction mechanic. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we need to sack it for that mission, which gives us. Blessed Skink Skirmishers. Construct one of each of the following buildings. I haven't built that. Own the entirety of three provinces. Current total, seven. <laughs> this game has a counting problem. Alright, they should love us. Oh, oh, what the hell? Wow. Well, that is interesting. The big question here is, do we do it? Do we do it? Because there'll likely be a downside. Public order will go to absolute shit biscuits. And we're already struggling. Should have looted and occupied if I had known. Cheats. I'm not cheating! It's not it's not it's not a necessarily a good thing either. For one thing, this is under siege by who knows what. Probably Rakath. Get other agreements first for money. Yeah, that's pretty good idea. And this will allow me to see what the hell's going on in there. Yeah, it is. It is a Rakath army. What do you think? So they want to confederate because they've they're just getting smashed. Okay, now looking at Rakath, how likely can we expect to him to declare war on us? Yeah, you it's pretty an... likely. It's pretty likely he can declare war on us. Mm, that's an interesting one because um, only lies. And a bottle of shit. <laughs> nice name. Did a five euro super chat. Alright, thanks, I appreciate it. Super chat. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so here's the thing about this confederation. We get three regions, and that's it. Three shit regions. We'll have to immediately go to war with um, Rakath. Immediately. Okay. If we're going to do this, we should do it next turn. It's likely that they'll still want to confederate. Oh, shit. 
Cain favors mm. me. They might not want it next turn. I mean, they'll only have a, a lord. Just to clear war on them. There, there's a lot of downslides to it. You get a slant? Yeah, I don't really care about that slant, though. Slows down the other confederations. No, it won't really, because that's not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah. Also, yeah, we will have a revolt at Kikes, like, really soon, if we do that. Really, really soon. Which, do I need a big army to deal with it, but that's all money. There'll be a revolt at the Golden Colossus. Yeah, it, in terms of, like, an optimal decision, this can backfire on us big time. Really big time. The garrisons will likely be crap. Yeah, they are crap. And for like three garbage settlements, but Rakath should be our next target anyway, so it does make sense. It'd just be really good if next turn we could hit it. Like if Rakath occupies Sentinels of Zeddy. Alright, I think it would be best to wait until next turn. That's what I think. Okay, hopefully it'll still be on offer next turn, but because I need I need to handle him to be able to move over there. I'm leaning towards doing it. It's not the end of the world if we don't do it, but don't forget we don't get a legendary lord. We don't get anything really very important at all. Uh, actually, it might be better to get draft master. Yeah. This doesn't provide public order anymore. It used to provide public order, right? Where's the? Oh, it's now in an alignment of order, right? Interesting. I do need growth, but at the same time, our money... We're probably going to need a lot of troops really soon, so I'm going to go with money there. Like, it, it'll grow still. It's 20 growth. Level of control is reducing it. And at Kyx... Mm. Lily Zarowalski did a five pound submission. Apart from Rapart and Isabella, who is a good for hero only armies in IE? Any of the new Chaos factions give sizable bonuses? Uh, not that I can see, that I'm very aware of at least. There might be, but I'm, I'm just not sure. I know that Azazel can do it, but not to any great extent. Thanks for the chat, appreciate it. Let's see if they'll give you a settlement. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. No. Can sell them the Golden Colossus for next to no money. That might make them not want to confederate though. They'll likely still want to confederate even next turn. But yeah, in terms of what we get out of the confederation, we could just immediately lose it as soon as we do it. It just isn't worth doing it this turn. Check higher tier edicts. Construction time is reduction is global. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Right now, that's not what we need, though. Hmm. So I need to be able to get the jump on Rakath. That's what I need to do. All right. All right. Well, we'll just see how we go. Let's have a look at other things going on. Yeah, 
Might as well get military lines, more money. Yeah, I think that confederation will still be on offer next turn, and it's not the end of the world if it isn't. Oh, what? They offered more. No. There we go. The art of the deal. Yeah! Man, now that is penny pinching for you. Hello, playing with a friend match up Snitch against Crocker. How do I not lose against Zoros Rush? By getting good. Man, I don't know, man. You, it's a multiplayer question. You have to out micro him. Confederation's even more on offer now. Now each of the settlements are only tier one. Master of all. Like I said, I need to get the jump on Rakath. That's the most important thing here. Okay. Okay, let's have a look here. Well, we got lots of money saved up, so that's good. Alright, let's get... What is this, like, the one for growth? I need to get the Grand Plaza for that. Which one's the Grand Plaza? Right, it's there, okay. If that's the case, then we should upgrade this settlement first. Six turns. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is this is where we hopefully get some good shit. That's good, that's good. Not that, not that good. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> nothing, nothing particularly good there. Oh well, sometimes you get some good stuff, sometimes you don't. And that, I think, counts towards this. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, that's fine. Alright, there's gonna be a revolt here in four turns. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Oh, we got 11 units in there. Oh, they're damaged. No, no, that's pretty good. We got that. Uh, Dustin Daniels became a member of 15 months. Hello, Legend. Hope you and family are well. I know it's way too early for another Total War, but any thoughts on the next? Anything you hope against? I uh, think Super Chat, dude. I have no plans at this point for another This Is Total War campaign. Um, I just have no plans. Not even thinking about it. Force march into Rakal's zone of control and then declare war. It's a mm, I don't think I can. You can see. Hang on. Yeah. I, I won't be able to because of the zone of control here. 
That's an interesting idea, but... Yeah, no, I don't... Uh, no, I don't think that, that's a good idea. Like, that has a higher chance of backfiring. Hmm. Okay, let's move on. Oh yeah, I got a border with Skrulk, you're right. Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna recruit an army there anyway to deal with, um... What are they doing? <gasps> no, stay, stay there, Ricard. Stay there, stay, stay here, stay. Occupy it, occupy it. Stay, stay, stay here, stay, stay, stay! 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 <laughs> like I said, I gotta get the jump on him. Super chat meant, what are you looking forward to or worried about in the next game, I think? Oh, shit. Sorry, man. Sorry. I totally misinterpreted that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sometimes people call the This Is Total War campaigns just Total War campaigns. Sorry. And that's usually what I get asked. Um, yeah, I have no idea what the next Total War game is. No, no idea. Like I said, not even thinking about it. So... But thanks, yeah, I, I did misinterpret that. Yeah, okay, I could get more movements by confederating them now. I wouldn't... I wouldn't get the movement from this one, would I? I might be able to. Yeah, Skork's on his way, probably. How strong is Skork? Yeah, it's pretty strong. Uh, now would be an okay time for this, I think. I think I'm gonna do the uh, Confederation. Why well, you need the jump on him, his army is damned. No, no, no. You don't understand what I mean by get the jump on him. I don't need to ambush him. I need to be close enough to attack him. That's what I mean by getting the jump on him. I need to be able to declare war and attack him. Because as soon as I declare war on him, he's going to run away from us. Okay? I wanted to be close enough to make sure that I was in range to attack. Which, at this here, I'm not certain. I'm just not certain. I might be able to reach him. I might not. Because, like, if I attack him, he will definitely run away from us. And then I just might not be able to catch him. Right? That's my problem. I'm gonna do this now. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Okay, it lifted the siege here, and we should have full garrison there. Yes, hang on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, we don't have the jump on him. I can't reach him. What are you talking about, Legend? Yes, you can. Now, see, if I attack him, do you know what will happen? He will run. He'll just run away. He'll just run over here, and then I can't catch him. This guy can't move at all. You're scaled high. Okay, no, no, okay, here's what we do, here's what we do, here's, here's what we do. I stand right here. He doesn't have jump in the underway. I stand right here, then declare war on him. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Here we go. But we don't actually attack him. We'll get him next turn. He won't, he won't attack us. Alright, you don't be here. Be over here with a Croxigore Ancient. You're not going to be able to recruit anything other than a... Yeah, get that regiment of renown. That'll make sure this army here can't win there. Your next meal Done. Has arrived, dear. Now, 
An insult. Rakath can't move. He's fucked. He can't move. This army here. Waste my time. Uh, it might be able to back off. If it does, it should run back over here. But if it force marches over this way, they might turn around and fight. If you attack and sacrifice with the Lord, with the army, first army. I don't know what you mean by that. Yeah, he can't run away now. We've got him. Alright, now, we've got a fair bit of money. We need to prepare for... Skaven. Oh, shit. They were on the way already. Damn, that was quick. Okay, well, we've got... Uh, when do we have a revolt here? Two turns. Shit biscuits. Three turns. No, don't worry about it. It's a turn earlier, it's fine. Okay, well, we're probably going to need the uh, Blessed Chameleon Skirmishers. Chances are, what he'll do is jump in the underway and try to get to Zlanzek. That's where he'll probably want to go, rather than here. Because it's poorly defended by comparison. Oh, we are gonna be broke. Hey, Radiant Ash, how's it going? I'm gonna be broke. Ready. Defender of the Phoenix. Onward. Okay. That's not a chameleon once. Uh, yeah, I don't have a choice. That's all I got. That's all I got. Kind of wishing I had uh, this. We actually expired with it. Um, it's not critical. And if we get a field battle out of this, we'll probably get enough for it. Uh, let's have a look at missions. What can I do to get some sacrifices? Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Win three battles against Skaven. Okay. And... Yeah, okay. I don't have the sacrifice to do that. They might even jump over here to attack that. That would actually be better. Go for the even easier target. Okay, well, we're about to have a, a rough couple of turns. Let's see how we go. Sacrifice? I don't have enough sacrifices. Alright, let's see what they're doing. Oh, no, he's going for it. Okay. Please don't bring another army. Okay. Well, okay, well, I didn't see Rakath do anything. Mm, no. Like, I might do that, but they're kind of a target to attack. Alright, so they besieged it. That's fine. Alright, so Skrulk came over here. Let's have a look at the situation. What? <laughs> Deal. Yep. Yep. I'm happy with that. And you lost all your blessed units. Uh, easy come, easy go. H 
Have you gotten any of the army upkeep followers went 50 turns without a single one? Uh, I haven't gotten any yet. I've done the right three times. We didn't get one. Uh, I need to do this one now. Nine nine casualties. Uh, it's fine if we're not getting attacked right away. All right, uh, we may need to put in public order here. We should probably just have another quick look. Doesn't this apply pretty much straight away? Campaign line of sight. Okay, it says subsequent turn, but I think if we go into a battle and then come back out of it, it'll um, it'll tell us. I just need to know if there's Skaven on the way. Can you sally out? <laughs> uh, okay. Alright then. Well, cool. Oh, nice. He's actually going to stand and fight. This is good, because that way we get two chances for... I, we, we don't want to auto-resolve this. For one thing, we're going to wipe out a bunch of units. I really don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. Um, at least it doesn't have uh, Dark Conduit. He is on a Manticore, though. Why Manticore? Why not a Manticore? <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's put that on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need that speed to avoid getting into the with the Manticore. Alright, let's do this. You can't auto resolve every battle. Well, the problem is, if I fight the battle manually, I won't wipe them out, right? And then, if I win, which I might win, then I won't be able to pursue them afterwards, and then they just come back. So, all right, our, our army is not great, but that's okay. It kind of skinks a little bit. Oh man, I'm full of crap jokes today. This army skinks. What are your thoughts on Gorog's barrier when defending settlements? Fine. Oh, he's got a carnosaur. Ah, I don't care. Alright, if we bring Rakath over to here, these guys actually should shoot him down fairly easily. I know they're not, like, loads of armor piercing. But they're pretty good at this kind of stuff. No, you're dodging me. Yeah, it got a bit of damage in, that's all we're doing for. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, shoot the calf down. Should we do another lap? Let's do another lap. Okay, they're not as good at taking out Rakath as I thought. You know, they did a bit of damage to him. I know they don't have loads of armor piercing, but... Okay, lure, lure him away. Lure him away. 
Because we've got bears incoming. There's a bear in there. Let's go. Oh god, the bears are getting wrecked. Good, keep it up, keep it up. No! Can they do that? Good, I'm glad they're going after my skink skirmishers, because they they skink. Um, Dustin Daniels the Eternal Super Chat. Good afternoon again, Legend. Don't know if you've ever watched the anime Naruto, but if you have, do you think a total war based around that would be interesting? Thanks for the Super Chat, dude. But I'm in the middle of fighting for my life here, and that's such a dumb question. <laughs> No! <laughs> I've ne sorry, I've never watched it, but no, I don't think so. If you want to ask dumb questions, don't do it when I'm fucking fighting a tough battle. Okay. Okay, I think we've gotten over the worst of this now. Shit, I didn't mean to click that there. I think the worst of this is over. Took a lot of damage, but you know, was, we had a fairly weak army and the car was pretty strong. Yep, there's the army losses. 
Okay. Alright, I don't think any units got wiped out. Yeah, guys. More than happy for you to ask silly questions like that. But, you know, there's a good time to do it and there's a bad time to do it. And that was a bad time to do it. <laughs> Uh, Rakasa's is gonna get away, nothing I can do about that. down. Yeah, I'm not going to reach that Feral Wyvern in time. Alright, cool. Have you seen the screenshot of Alith and I having Hitler moustache on the German client? No, I haven't seen that. Poor guy donated $10 just to get flamed by chat. No, he didn't. Okay. Okay, for one thing, that's a ridiculously silly question. Ridiculously silly. And I think he knows that, and that's fine. Okay, and <laughs> he asked it when I was fine for my bloody life. It's just, the timing of it was just really, really bad. Like, if you, if you want to ask questions like that, ask them during interns, not when I'm, like, like fighting. Tough fight. Why high was bad? They're not bad, they're just not as good as they were in Warhammer 2. That's all. Yeah, we should go with that, that way we get some replenishment as well. Always go for, for that. And then we get another opportunity to fight him. See, this is what I was talking about, getting the jump on him. Because even if he stood and fought last turn, he probably wouldn't be able to get the Chamber of Visions, but he would have ran off and hired a whole bunch of things. Now he's going to die, because we've got enough movement. And then we're going to be at the Great Turtle Island before he has a chance to come back. This is the last time we'll ever see him. Like, I refused to believe that a question like that was made without it just being... Again, no problem with it. Without it only being perceived as ridiculously silly. That can't have been a serious question. Alright, I could use some public order before this place revolts. Alright, looks like we can get away with an auto. Do we get a chance to... Uh, 87 sacrificial offerings. Okay. That's fine. I just don't know how we turn 2 into 87. I was just going to have a look over there, then just get rid of this. Okay. Now, Tehenawa needs to leg it over here quickly before they... Before they come back. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, there's no more Skaven on the way right this very second, but we'd be deluding ourselves thinking that they're not coming back. So, I was just curious. Let's, um, we're gonna need to get some more troops up in here. Okay, now, let's get rid of the... This one here. We need to get growth and money. What's Rakath's trait? I'll show you. Beast Master of None. 
Leadership minus five for enemy monstrous units. Bonus versus large plus eight. It's a, it's an okay defeat trade. It's, pre it's pretty good. The Asa are Should have kept the Acroxagor and launched the attack next turn. Now, according to this, I wouldn't even be within reinforcement range. That that you could have been right about that, but apparently we're not going to reach there next turn anyway. Yeah, that that was a good idea. Um, it's all right. All right, yeah, go with the. Okay, we got a slam mage. So, Boki Hui is a second generation. So, okay, so Windsor. Okay, here we go. We got Windsor Magic Power Reserve Capacity plus 20, which probably bugged. Unit experience. Okay. So, that's. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, for this, just get the uh, Croxagore Ancient. Need to be ready to deal with the revolt. Uh, even if we don't tax it, it's still going to revolt. Alright, and we got some more uh, sacrifices, so let's keep up with the... How much is that? 300. That is very hard to read. <laughs> that is very hard to read. Uh... Hang on, let me just have a quick look. Control plus 5 all provinces for, was it 5 turns? 10 turns. Hmm, that could help prevent revolts. That would buy us 5 turns here. No, sorry, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, the 5 turns that we need, because get rid of the confederation. That would prevent the revolt, but it'd still have to stay there. Or I'd have to not tax it. It might be better just not tax Oh, but then again, Skaven are coming down. And then over here, if we did do that, we would, we would buy ourselves one additional turn. The revolt that shows up here should be a Lizardman one. Ah, uh, the, the, sorry, the Tomb King one. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm still just going to try to go for followers. Because they're so good. Uh, another piece of shit. Alright, well that's done. Okay, one. Okay. Um. Come on, man. Ah. Didn't get anything good. That happens. Can't do much about it. Uh, yeah, you have Hamlet Discord. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That buys us one turn. Nice. So, yeah, okay, well, that was better, I guess. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright, we still got money. So let's have a look here. Uh, we should probably upgrade the Golden Colossus because that's what's going to come under attack. Born to command. You slow down the roll down? Yeah, yeah, I did that. Slow down. Brought us one additional turn. Can you fuse them? No. No, you can't fuse followers. How did you get so much money on turn 12? Oh, shit. I didn't see them. 
Are they gonna launch the attack? No. I'll probably lose that. Good thing it's only tier one. Oh my god, I haven't lost a battle in weeks. We're gonna lose a battle there, guys. <laughs> Not an important battle, though. More important to get rid of Rakath, I think, right now, since we've got him weak. Then Morbius is dead. I guess it's not morbid in time. Pretty funny if we sallied out and we could win it. I can't, I can't win that. It just depends on... Oh god, here we go. Um... Well, between a rock and a hard place here. Well, it happens. It's okay, it's all just tier one shit. Alright, so... Yeah, we would never have been able to reinforce. Wouldn't have worked. So just keep force marching there. Don't need another turn of replenishment. You waste my time. They're probably not going to sally out and try to attack us. Alright, how are we going to deal with this? So, Clan Pestilence was weakened. I imagine they've still got another army, because that's not exactly a lot. Um, there's going to be a revolt here. It needs to be dealt with. What could end up happening, we could stand here, and they might back off and attack us. There's a 40, actually there's more like 15% chance we'd actually get ambushed. But being able to reinforce could make all the difference. If I put any followers on him, there's a good chance I'll end up losing, well no not necessarily, because even if I lose, they don't have enough movement to pursue us. Unless they bring in another army, which they could do. I could just not tax the region. This guy over here needs to be ready for the revolt, so we can't bring him down. Recruit another Croxagore over here. Just to come and support. Because, like, a couple of Croxagores could beat this entire army, because they're just so bloody good against Skaven. It all just depends if it launches the attack. Luckily the AI is just really bloody cautious with that kind of stuff. Alright, here's what I could do, I guess. I could take... The... this one, and this one. Right, go into ambush stance, and I could probably force march to arrive there next turn, if I needed to. That way it's not going to revolt this turn. Okay, over here we have the Chamber of Visions. That's good. Eh, I mean, medicinal plants. If you get it, so it's not that big of a deal. Also, did you know you can't build a Star Chamber in Minor City Settlements anymore? All right, let's uh, let's go with that. I need some growth up in here. All
Oh, yeah, 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 but if I stand here in this stance, they might not make the attack. And there's only like a 15% chance to leave an ambush us anyway. And even if they do ambush us, they're not going to wipe us out. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Trap the garrison's already enough? I already checked. It's not. We'll just have to wait and see. Yes. Okay. Here we come. Here comes Skaven. What are they going to do? Show me what they're doing. Oh, they're giving it a shot. They're giving it a shot. 15% chance of ambush. Nice, it didn't work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you got baited, bitch! Do you stream my daily live anymore? No. Let me guess. Declaring war? Ah, so scary. Whatever. We're not out of the woods yet, but that's a, that's a good start at least. It buys us more time. You fucking zinch! <laughs> good thing it was only tier one. Fucking zinch, they're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh well. We have made it so that the AI only major factions, inch factions, will use changing of ways on you. Lies! Cinchian lie. Alright, well, he can still get to the Dusk Gate, and I don't have any more regiment of renown available or lesser units. Uh, what do we got here? Eight units versus our seven. But, you know, we got a Croxigore, and they don't get anything, and we've got this, uh, not that, um, mm. alright, let's do this one here first, this could be an order resolve. Uh, how the fuck did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> can be obtained through icy and mountains it gets it in the jungle desert the fuck how did you find this desert dwelling mammoth by the way it's all right we can cheese this this is one of the easiest settlement types to cheese Can Chief has stalk yet? Not yet. Don't, I, I got um, Chameleon skin still sorted out.
Zanusa! Cleo! We should annoy them a little bit before we go into it. Go into there. The more units they have hanging around... Okay, yeah, the more units they have hanging around here, the less likely we are to get discovered. Typically speaking, this is a very easy map to deal with. Yeah, do not fire at will. That only affects you as you can see, doesn't it? Damn, that jungle swarm. Bloody fucks. Look at that go. Lithalian did a Fargo Zubja. What do you think of the changes to provinces overall? Rearrange major minor settlements, new settlements. Uh, I'm indifferent towards it. I, I, it's fine. I, I don't... Uh, yeah, I'm just indifferent to it. Neither good nor bad. When did your mocking voice become Italian? I don't know. Because maybe I needed some flavor and I couldn't think of a better flavor than Italian. <laughs> I don't know. I work with what I've got. And who says it's Italian? It could be. Look, I, I didn't put it. I don't know what it is. K did a $10 super chat. Hey, Legend. Le uh, Kislev's Light War Sled seems to be one of the best missile chariots in Warhammer 3. Uh, do you know if the Empire's War Wagon is now viable? Or is it still just as bad as it was in Warhammer 2? Um, I think it is viable. It's probably not amazing, but it is better than what it was in Warhammer 2. Because it's got an increased speed. One of its biggest problems was that it had really slow speed. I don't think they're amazing. Because um, the thing about the war sleds is that they've got a lot of damage output in terms of their missile attack, and then they've also got a lot of damage output in their melee attack. So they're just better than, and they're also quick. They're just better than war wagons in every single way. But I haven't played any Empire campaigns, and yeah, it would be like the last unit that I would test. But thanks for the super chat.
was all done by the jungle swarm there. Why don't you upgrade your cities? I do upgrade my cities. What are you talking about? Why don't you upgrade your cities? I do. Oh, sorry, I just arrived. I didn't actually look. What game is this? Legend, when are you going to play Lizard Man? <laughs> Ban these people? No, 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 no. Ridicule is punishment enough. Just in time. Like I said, this map is very cheesable. You got one stalking unit, it's all good. Being dumb isn't ground for ban? No, of course not. Oh, if I banned every dumb viewer, I'd have next to no viewers left. No, honestly, I kind of feel like half of the people that post a dumb comment, they're actually doing it on purpose to get a reaction out of me, and if that's fine, that's, 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 like, if it's entertaining for you guys, that's, that's all that matters. Typically speaking, whenever I use the dumb viewer voice, people seem to laugh, so that's good. Lumen Obscurum did a 5 dollars super chat. Do Demon Princes other than Metal Cinch get free spells, or just limited to the Blue Birdie Boys? It's only, as far as I'm aware, only Zinch Metal Lords. You have to go Metal Metal and then Zinch. I believe that's the only way, as far as I'm aware. Thanks to be chat. I loot and occupy, I don't think a revolt will occur right away. Cool. There goes Rakar. Nice. I guess. Oh, here we go. Look at what we found here. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Well, let's get rid of the skink skirmishes first. How many recruit slots? It would be four. Okay. Uh, Yeah, he's not he's not quite ready to get natural camouflage yet. How's the public order? Yeah, I could use a bit of a boost. I don't want a revolt to occur here. Okay, here comes some public order. Boom. Nice. And That'd be good. Okay, then we can get rid of five of these units. Also came with uh, a lot of experience. All right, guys, come with a little bit of experience. All right, what I could do again is go stand over here in like in camp stance. There's a chance that this guy will come over here instead. If we have a look, the garrison here hasn't recovered though, so that might not be what we want them to do. They might come back over here and besiege. Yeah, the dust gate didn't actually get any attrition put in there. This guy could come over here by force march.
And I could get the Legion of Chakwa in there. Yeah, how about you go back over here. And recruit some more. And then you... Force March to here. And recruit this unit. And let's have a look at this. Okay, I'll take that. Thanks for the sacrifices, bitch! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. God, all resolve is so... ...favorable these days. Alright, there shouldn't be another revolt for a little while. So, what we should do with this one now is... Start force marching him over here. We need we need enough force, just cobble together force to take this guy out. So get moving. Okay, there shouldn't be any Skaven that can attack us here. Recruit another lord here. Ooh, pompous. Okay, and get that one recruiting. Now I gotta go to war with this fucking faction. Luckily, they're pretty much dead. Thanks, Zinch. I don't know if you already can recruit that army or not, but can you recruit right a primeval glory army? Uh, I could. I could. It would spawn at my capital. I could, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to though. Fuck it, let's try anyway. Whatever. Yes! <laughs> God damn it! Getting lucky here. It can't launch an attack. <laughs> Oh my god, this is not your lucky day, bitch. Oh my god, that was so lucky. I never get this lucky with agent actions. Jonathan Moore did a 10 dollars You can reduce build time for all buildings by one faction wide for each province that you have with Monument Commandment building. Virtually all your buildings will only take one turn to build. Yep, I'm aware of that. I don't think it's a good idea to do that right this very second, but thanks for the super chat. Skeleton BT did a 50 DKK super chat. The Windspell Vanguard's Revenge on the Lore of the Deep is busted. Obliterate any demon faction three uses. 14,000 damage, 900 casualties. It's crazy. Yep, yep, it's always been very powerful, but yep, thanks for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Jimmy God. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not going to do that because I don't upgrade my settlements. No, of course I'm going to do it. Uh, there's no point doing the dust gate right now, I think, because it's not going to come under attack right now. But every time it does, they're going to delay the, uh, the stuff for a fair bit. Save Pompous Croxigore. Nah, it's just a lord. Nah. Someone said that they changed the skill set of them. Hmm, I don't know. God, I can't believe we got through that without losing a battle. That was that was dicey as fuck. Alright, what else we got going on? Yep, treaties with yeah, I do Okay, 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 okay. Nice, and let's move on. Oh, hang on, before we do that. Yeah! Um... Radiant Ash, I believe she was asking if Little Bottle Spawn Brother still exists. There it is. 
Okay, we got one of the good ones. I actually would have preferred the reduced construction cost, but this is one of the good ones anyway. So, boink. Cool, that saves us a lot of money. Was it always 20%? I feel like it used to be 15%. Maybe I'm mistaken. No, I think it was 20. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, let's move on. Is Cult of Sotek still the most fun lizard faction in terms of mechanics? Yeah, but it's a bit of a loot box mechanic. <laughs> it's, it's like... But it's like, it, at least you don't pay to win. Is there a good pizza in Australia? Yeah, it depends on your taste. Good, yeah, it's good pizzas. Good pizzas everywhere, just gotta know where to look. Fifteen percent is the construction. I missed two super chats. Sorry. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, you missed me getting the super chats. I didn't miss them. Missed the donation. Oh, uh, if it was a, um, if it was a, uh, Streamlabs donation doesn't show up in the chat, I am going to miss it. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Donation. Yep. Okay, it wasn't a super chat though. Um, if you do a donation, I can't catch it. Scout Ruins doesn't do anything anymore. That's right. Cool, that'll help with the public order problems that we're hovering. Fucking what the fuck am I seeing here? I can't believe this shit. Freaking got blocked again. Not enough warp stone. Okay, he's in raid stance, so he can get a little bit of movement back, so don't get in too close. But we gotta be close enough that we next turn launch the attack. I don't think we need any more troops. Four Croxigore Ancients would just fucking wreck this guy's ass. Okay, now I gotta get back over here and take the Chamber of Visions. Okay, I did want to recruit some more Chameleon Skinks, but we are... It's more important that we get there quickly, so... Yes. Stay there. We're going for public order, it's going bad. Roger Rabbit did a five dollar super chat. Is Shadow still the best magic in Warhammer 3 or some other magic better? Shadows has never been the best lore of magic. Um, but it's pretty good. So what I'm trying to do here is get him to launch the attack on us. He has 0% chance of ambushing us, then I just back off. He used up all of his movement, got him next turn. Oh, dog goes up. Go back to bed. Have you ever been to Kuba PD? Seems like a cool town, AUS. Um, I may have, I don't know. But if I did, I don't remember. All right, how about you go into Ambush Dance instead? Try and sneak up on them. Oh, 
Oh, how the dog? Why are the dogs waking up now? It's three o'clock in the morning. Am I yelling too loud? <laughs> Hang on. That's a little bit of a risk. I could get pulled out of it. Alright. I'll deal with them in the... Uh, over the end turn. Alright, we're losing money, but we should be okay. Like I said, I don't need to recruit any more units. This should be sufficient. deal with the dogs I got some treats here yeah they they were sleeping in in our bedroom but they kept waking my wife up so we come up with the idea of okay they went for the bait there's no way they could ambush we came up with the idea of um, them staying in here that way when they wake up because they're very energetic yeah I fell for the trap you dipshit yeah I got you now So when they wake up, I can just deal with them so they don't wake her up. You want a bit more? Here you go. Okay. Now. Come here. Come here and be cute. That's one. Get the other one. So no. Doesn't want to get picked up. Nope. Later. Why won't you go to sleep? Huh? No idea here, two winners. We've actually got three. But the other one actually sleeps properly. These two here, they they just don't sleep. They don't sleep for long periods of time. Do ya? Do ya? So Okay, you've had your treat. Now go back to bed. It's not It's not wake up time. Hopefully they won't scratch at the door. I did give them some treats. So they should be, they should be happy. All right, so uh, let's continue on with this. All right, good. I had just enough movement to get to the chamber of visions, and this one here has fucked himself. I reckon he'll run from this fight. What time is it now in Australia? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. They shouldn't be awake. But... They are. They slept until 4.30 yesterday. But they woke up because the internet went out. Which, so far, it's enough today. Alright, let's bring this one over here. No, let's just firstly see what it's like with 3. Because I might need that dude's movement. Yeah, okay, I figured as much. Alright, cool. And that should deal with Clan Pestilence for the time being. I don't think we need to fight this manually. Yeah, that'll be fine. Cool. 
Wow, they really screwed up. Is it true the strongest ability in the game is so takes tickles? Maybe. Yeah, that Sotex trail thing is pretty damn powerful. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now, how are things going with Clan Pestilence? Do we need to prepare again? No, they're pretty weak. They're pretty weak. Is the Confederation penalty over? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. That's why public order's back in shape. Does the Demon Prince exploited spell spam work with any other Demon Princes? As far as I'm aware, no. Gotta love that three garrison corn. Garrison. Alright, I think I actually want to cause a revolt here. I'm gonna loot and occupy. Just get the revolt over and done with. Yeah, that'll cause a revolt. Nice. Revolt happens over there. <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh, why didn't I? Th oh, why did I do that? I could have prevented it. It's too late now. Oh, I could have prevented that. Oh, why did I loot it? That was so dumb. Why wasn't I thinking? Okay, well, we're gonna need to deal with that. Yeah, I think I'll keep this guy. He's been very lucky. He shall be known as Lucky until he fails. You have time to get back? No, it's gonna happen over this... Unless I can drop the... the uh, no, there's no way I can get back in time. I, I have to recruit a new army there and just sort it out. Yeah, I... Yeah, that was silly. Oh well, it'll be fine. Alright, get rid of these guys here. Yeah, we need to recruit a Croxigore here. I'm gonna pump this one. Oh, let's just get this revolt over and done with. If I get some, uh, some of these skinks, we should be able to take on an It'll be a Rakath's faction as well. Um, we should be able to take on an army that's larger than us, plus we... Yeah. Unfortunately, that means that Hennowin is not getting his recruits. I want to give him more troops. Oh, well. If we have a look at it, we can... If we can move to here, we'll still get the recruitment. coming. Alright, and then let's upgrade, let's see, Sentinels of Zeddy is probably the safest of these areas, so let's upgrade. Yep, let's upgrade that. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? Rather than disbanding these armies, why don't we take the fight to them here? And I'll sell it back to these guys. That'll actually buy- yeah, I should do that. 
I'll just go over there and take it. Should I get another? Oh, I'm running out of money. We're not going to be in position to get there next turn anyway. It's a quad. It's a quad. For next time. Karangani. Even if I transferred all the followers over, there's... I need to get that down to minus 20. I just shouldn't have looted and occupied it. That was just a big mistake. I didn't think about it. Usually when it's the last settlement in the province, I think, oh, I'll loot and occupy it and cause a revolt. But then I realize at the last second, I have to go all the way back. But we'll be able to handle it with this. It's just that it costs money. I think there was always going to be a revolt here. It's just a matter of we've brought it forward by a few turns. Yeah, this doesn't cost any money. Alright, we already got a life one. Let's get a fire one in there, just in case. I'm not going to recruit them just yet, but they're available. So it doesn't cost any money, just keep doing it. Cool. Alright, let's get... Let's get that. The other one has low impact. Yeah, might as well buff up the public order here while we're here and can't be attacked because we would hate to lose those stuff. Okay, 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 okay. How many turns do we have the jungle swarm for now? Six turns, okay. What do I have to do now? Right, I gotta win one more battle against Skaven. Okay, I'm working on that. So, to Hanawin. Since the uh, the demons out here are causing me problems, it might be in my best interest to come up this way and take Hualotal. So they don't do that shit again. He's only got one settlement. So yeah, let's get rid of him. So he doesn't do that again. Because they're, they're going to do that again in a few turns anyway. So let's put a stop to it. Yeah, save me more money, please. Don't worry too much about lightning strike since we know a little trick. How hard is quest battle? Tehenwin's quest battle is reasonably hard. Reasonably hard. Alright. Here we go. Do you know that regular Stegodons take two turns to rec recruit now? That's good. That's a, that's a big buff because three turns was obviously quite a long time. That is a significant buff for them. Yeah, they had a big army there. But it went north. This is why it's so important to scout. If the Rebellion besieged the settlement, you won't be able to finish recruiting. That's fine. If they besiege the settlement, we can use the garrison to win. I'm assuming that they wouldn't besiege it because we did have enough troops to be able to beat them. So, thanks for getting wrecked. No. This guy just went to war with the cult of Sotek as well, so that's good. And it looked like it's is cleaning up house a little bit. The 
goddess forbids it. Yeah, they didn't besiege us at all. I didn't think they would. This will fail. No. Mm, eight units versus five. We might be able to win in auto resolve though. Let me just see. What regiment of renown do we have? None. That is tough. Okay, so let's think about this. If I was, hang on, uh, Louis Oviedo did a five dollars budget. In your opinion, is Immortal Empires now more refined, better, and more enjoyable than Mortal Empires? No, it's not. But thanks, for Super Chat. Appreciate it. It's a beta, and it feels like a beta. It's not there yet. So they will probably hold their position, allowing us to waste the ammunition of the Reaper bolt throwers. We should be okay with the Chameleon Skinks to deal with any of these units. 115 range versus 80 range. Yeah, but they won't be able to see us coming. This one here is a Dark Wizard, so she'll probably use this and damage her own units. This is, this is going to be a, a tough one, but I think I can do it. Because otherwise we've got to wait a whole turn, which means paying upkeep, and even if I lose, I'm going to do damage to them. Recruit, recruit. I've not got nothing left to recruit. I have to make do with what I got, or wait until next turn. Which means I'll end up having to fight a larger army as well. The, uh, the AI can out-recruit you with the rebellions. Are there any incentives to play as the Demons of Chaos Factions compared to the Warriors ones? Yeah, I'd say so. For Scarbrand especially, I think he's more powerful than Warriors of Chaos. You know, Cinch has got the changing of ways, which I think his changing of ways are better than Villagers. Um, I think with Kugath, not really. And and with Nakari, yeah. Yeah, Devotee armies are pretty interesting, but they're currently a, a, got a little bug that's annoying with them. Alright, so first thing. Waste the ammo of the artillery. They'll probably just take a defensive position. Yeah, look, straight away. Did that. This unit is big enough that they... Oh, they're not shooting at him. It's not big enough. Interesting. Interesting. What about with the um, other missile units? Interesting. Hmm. Can't cheese their ammunition with Croxigors. I thought I would be able to. Hey, what the? Okay, hang on. The fuck do you want? Shush. Right, here, have another treat and then shut up. Don't bark while we're in here. I know I'm rewarding him for barking, but honestly, he will just keep barking and barking and barking. I don't have time for that shit. Now, go back to bed. Where wants a bit of a cuddle? Come over here. So, this is a different one. This is Rupert. He's a barker, this one. Could you please not do that again? Hey? Right? Yeah, sorry about that. You're a bit of a barker, aren't you? Alright, so you want to watch me play? Okay, you just sit quietly and watch, okay? Don't interrupt me, because I have to micro. I've only got one hand now. Look, I can't cheese them. I can't cheese them, Rupert. What am I supposed to do? They won't, they won't waste their ammo on me. What am I supposed to do, Rupert? No! No! Uh, Jan J did a 10 PLN super chat. End stream crisis. Dog demands attention. Yeah, thanks, super chat. I think if I pop one of these down, they'll activate, but then I've got to deal with the fast units first.
let me just try something real quick. I'm gonna try a bit of a hit and run. See if this works. Oh, we should really try it on a different unit. No, they're just gonna run back. Okay, then, while we're blobbed up. Look at that, they sent all of them into melee here. Alright, I need to micro now. Can you could you go 10 minutes without a bark, okay? 10 minutes. They just refuse to shoot at him. They'd rather send their units into melee. I get this. This is what I was talking about. They put in anti-cheese. And you just come up with a different cheese. Like, look how much damage it's doing to them. Look at that. It's basically gone. They've essentially just lost the battle because they refused to shoot at it. Of course, if they had shot at it, they would have lost the battle. Think it's a bug? No, I don't think it's a bug. Because they shoot you on um, normal battle difficulty. See, so yeah, he's just too used to uh, people dodging artillery uh, stuff. Yeah, all of our missile resistance doesn't help against that. They're being naughty today. Alright, just give me a sec guys. I gotta, I gotta go deal with it. They probably want to go out to the toilet. I'll be right back. It's alright. Okay, I'm just going to let them uh, run around for a little bit and hopefully uh, they'll tire themselves out a little bit. I mean, it's freaking 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. It's not their breakfast time yet. Oof, that hurts a little bit. My best to just keep letting the Croxagor do its thing. There's just too many high-powered missile units here. We're kind of getting... Too badly damaged. And he's doing just fine there. Because we're going to be able to pop down another one of these in a moment. It's just going to wreck him. Look at that. They came off the artillery. What the hell? They actually ran away from it that time, but now I'm just going to go straight for the general. But since they came off the artillery, we should be a bit safer to come in here with, with these ones. And doing damage to their lord will make a big difference. And now they're going back on the artillery. Weird. Now keep killing the Lord.
I found that chill win is actually a fair bit better in Warhammer 3 than it was in 2. Yeah, we've won. We've won. I thought we could win. And now we just try to kill as much of them off as possible. But not all of them. We don't want to kill all of them because we need to fight another one for more sacrifices. So maybe just leave the artillery alone. We should be able to auto resolve the next fight. Let's kill her. Cool. Alright, just let them go. So if you're wondering why did I just leave them go, um, if there are any captives to be had in the next fight, we'll get another guaranteed 50. Because our army is in good enough shape that we can, we should easily be able to order resolve it. Want to choose the research rate ancillary? Rank up in a region with your walls. Alright, well that's easier said than done. Uh, Lyranet did a two dollars in chat. Was it the croc? Or the vortex that shredded them? It was the Vortex. Like, the Croc brought them in together, and then the Vortex wrecks them. Yeah, that first Vortex totally wrecked them. Uh, we'll see if we can manage that. It's not a lot of money. So now when we fight it again, it should be an easier to resolve this time. We should just be able to... Yep, auto-resolve it. And it's all about this one here. You, you always get 50 from that. You always get 50. Okay. Cool, and now they can be disbanded. Cool, cool, cool. Why would you recruit Dark Shards in the late game? Shades exist? Uh, it depends on availability. If you don't have availability for them, it's not, Dark Shards are good too. Okay. Alright, I saw that one of their armies went up this way. Just gotta be careful with what we're doing with this. These two here should be strong enough to capture the Sentinel of Time. It's just that I know there's another army out that way that I can't quite see. And we're okay for money. Alright, now... The public order here should be stable. Yeah, it's quite stable. Okay, we can continue recruiting the units that we wanted. So just run to here. Don't force much. Okay. Uh, I know red crested skinks are okay, but I much prefer chameleon skinks. But we've got four recruit slots in here. So I'm going to get rid of the crappy skinks. Oh, 
Honestly, I'm not really making that much use out of the Salamander Hunting Pack. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Four, four of those. Okay. Okay. Cool. Why don't we sort that out? So the Golden Colossus over here. Public order is okay, at least until the next confederation. Yeah, even with military crackdown gone, it should be okay. So let's go with... Let's just make sure. Let's just put that in the public order and make sure. Alright, let's see about getting another follower. That's good, but I, I did want to get the reduced construction cost one. I can... I can't put any more... Oh, hang on. I don't have... Okay, a lot of bottles can be equipped. What about on Skink Chiefs? They weren't... They didn't used to be able to. Right. So you can do it on Skink Oracle, Lord, Sar... Sky. Right. Everyone except for a Chief. Cool. So this will save us an additional 20%. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. But yeah, I want to get the reduced construction cost one. Do you like IE more than ME now? No. No. It's close, but no, not yet. Alright, and over here. I don't think we need to build walls. Oh god, we've got no money. No point having growth without money. So, let's get money. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a qua. It's a new Okay. So yeah, we're going to come and occupy this, give it back to them. Alright, let's have a look over here. Do you find Croxicles better in Warhammer 3? Uh, every melee unit f feels better in Warhammer 3 because they're not going up against ridiculous AI cheats. Ready for another confederation? It's not a legendary lord though. I can confederate the Southern Sentinels. They got three regions. Damn. We're actually getting pretty good confederation offers. Not for uh, legendary lords, though. Confederating them makes no strategic sense. Absolutely none. Uh, let me just have a look at that little situation over there. Only the Grail companions of Ord could hope to best me, yet you would try with words. Yeah, like it would suck if they get wiped out, which looks like it's going to happen, but confederating them for two settlements in different provinces, it just doesn't make sense. Especially given the drawbacks that will come with it, it just doesn't make sense to do that. And these guys here, this makes a lot more sense. This makes a lot more sense. But let's just have a look at Pestilence here. Right, well, I don't own this one, but that's likely a Skaven clan. Spittle. Hang on, I wasn't done looking at that. Yeah, Clan Spittle's over here. Hmm... Not yet. I think, from a strategic point of view, it it's not a good time. We only just stabilized all the stuff over here, and then I'd have to redo all that crap again. Whereas, if I confederate this, I'll be on war with two fronts, and it would probably be better to just let them keep fighting while I'm sorting out shit out here. i got to get rid of Cinch. So yeah, it just doesn't make sense to do that right now. Moving on. Hey, I can still take far so far. It's good. It's fun. I think the start is a lot better than it was in Warhammer 2. Yeah, they spit a lot that way.
It'd be good if Clan Pestilence and Spittle confederate. It'd actually make it easy to deal with them. Do you like the starting province better than in ME? Yeah, it's way better than in ME because it, the in Mortal Empires in Warhammer 2, the province is kind of L-shaped and it's like fucking impossible to, to defend it. It's really, really tough to defend it. Um, so... They're all, the settlements are all really far apart. This way here, you're a little bit more protected by the terrain. You still end up having to go to War Skaven pretty early, but you're not as close to the Awakening. It's the Awakening that gets you, not the Skaven, usually. Save up a little fuck fly for the core thingy. No, that costs 300 sacrifices. I could get a follower and a half for that. Is there still the 20% ward save banner? I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. It's probably more like 17% now, though. <laughs> if you're not planning on immediate confederation of sentinels, would it make more sense to gift that settlement than sell it? You get better standing with them? Actually... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. So, when you sell a settlement to someone, it counts as a gift. See, this is why I didn't want to get any agreements with them. Alright, I really don't think they're going to hold on to that long term. I really don't think they will. And anyway, we can see Clan Spittle anti-play up by... Okay, we're back on. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, another, um, another internet crash. Uh, this is becoming too frequent to just be like, a, oh, well, this thing happens every now and again. I'm definitely going to have to call up the ISP and be like, Rah. you know. Uh, hopefully we don't get another one. It's happened every day this week so far. That's really annoying. I can't do anything about it, though. If it cuts out, it cuts out, you know. Yeah, I got the best cables I can get. I ordered the best service I can get. <laughs> what can you do? You know? All I can do is call up and complain. Alright, let's have a look here. Alright, I can't reach it anyway. No! Blame you, you! So, uh, we were talking about what to do about this here. We've only got just enough movement to reach them next turn. I know there's a full stack in there. Now, Zinch is a really friggin' difficult opponent. Really friggin' difficult. And this is not ideal for getting in there. And I have no idea what that settlement type is. And do they have any enemies? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay. Zinch is probably one of the, the most difficult opponents, and we're going to be outpowered if we attack them there. Because, like, our magic can't do much to them, because it can't even penetrate their barrier. Saotekikulu. Uh. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't force march over there. Below the mountains of questioning. Mm. Well, we'll just have to see how we go with that. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky. User Andari28 donated five dollars super chat, and he says he doing good as Oxyodo, but he can't confederate any tips. Uh, sorry I missed that super chat, but you know, it happened during an internet crash. I don't have any tips because the tools that you have to confederate with the, with, uh, what, game three is not good. You basically have to firstly get their relationship above 150 and then just wait. There's nothing else you can do. It sucks. You yeah. know? But that's how CA wants it to be for some reason. They don't want to give you the tools to confederate. 
Okay, we don't have much money. Not enough warp stone. <laughs> Alright, I think what we do here, go into ambush dance down here. All the way down here. With both of them. Wait for this one to come down this way. I think that's what it's doing. Even if it force marches to there, I should be able to reach it. And then we get him. We do, I don't think we need to recruit more units. But honestly, another Croxagore wouldn't hurt. E even if it's not recruiting anything. Especially strategists to make sure we've got enough campaign movement range. Yeah. Still got money. <laughs> not much. Uh, that's not a huge amount of income from that. You get... A uh, you get a hundred from that and it's cheaper, but this does provide growth. Still, I need money more than growth right now. Because I've got I've got enough money... Oh, hang on. I should probably save up the cash. For that. Let me just see what I can do in diplomacy. It is time. Not them. House. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we go. So this one over here... Yeah. Yes. Just, uh, keep scouting a little bit. Okay. Is this a Woolworths Clan Spittle as well? Uh, yeah. Let's hear okay. Against council orders. Yeah, well, we'll just see how we go with that. Most concerned about this. That attack is going to be tough with this. Why did they say they stopped minor factions from using changing of the ways when they didn't? Uh, because CA is not thorough. They don't check a lot of the stuff if, if it's getting fixed or not. They're not thorough. They never have been. I think they thought they did. Like, they wouldn't... See, I don't deliberately lie. Okay, they don't deliberately don't lie. But what they do is that they, they don't check whether or not they're telling the truth a lot of the time. It's just a case of... Just try to get it out there as quickly as possible sort of thing. All I can do is hope that they actually left the area. Fighting Cinch inside of... Oh, they, I think they did! I think they teleported over here. Good. That was lucky. Legend, I know you just did a Bellicor campaign, but I was wondering if you have any plans for an Archeon campaign anytime in the near future. Or something, by the way. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, so typically speaking, I don't cover the same race twice in a short period of time. So, it'll be a while before I cover Warriors of Chaos again. Yeah. The only time I would cover a race twice in a row is if it the the race was really popular, and honestly, the Bellicor campaign was not that popular. The drop-off rate was really, really fast. I'm not sure why. Um... So, yeah, probably no plans to do Archeon anytime soon. Alright, so... They confederated. And now there's no one there, and... Oh, just enough movement. I am of Cinch, and you are a puppet. Just enough... That's so lucky. Now we shouldn't have any problem taking it. You see more black pilled on CA recently? Any big reason for this? Yeah, I had a really bad year with CA. Really bad year. Yeah. CA almost went out of their way to piss me off this year. That's what it felt like. Uh, no, we 
should attack with one of them. Cool. Yeah, we just ordered that. No, you're just gonna get wiped out. Cool. No expansion for you, Clan Spittle. Cool, that's three victories against Skaven, so... We got the physical resistance. Who was it that said, it's gonna take you ages to get to 10% physical resistance? Turn 19, there we go. Leadership when fighting against Skaven. Cool. So what's the point of doing this other one? Let me just, let me just confirm that actually. Yeah, there we go, we got the 10%. I think they're trying to bounce the game for dummies like me. May maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, but there's a lot more to it than that. There's a, there's a lot more to it. I don't want to go into details to it because people get sick of that. But there's a lot more to it. Um, Yeah, basically, it felt like CA this year basically just gave me the middle finger, like, the entire year. That's what they were doing. So, naturally, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> like, every step of the way, just like, hey, let's screw Legend over every step of the way. But yeah, that, that's enough. enough. No more CA ranting, okay? Otherwise, I'll really get going. Alright, we gotta do this. I feel like we should fight it manually because there's a decent chance I can sneak in there. I know this map reasonably well, and I know the AI does tend to keep their units around here. I, I think we can do this without taking casualties. You're a random streamer. I'm actually not a random streamer. I'm actually the biggest Total War streamer. No need to burn the CA bridge again if you don't have to. It's already burned. It's gone. They burned the bridge, by the way. They burnt it. Not me. They burnt the bridge. I want to make that clear. They did it. How did they go out of their way to screw over by changing the game? No, it's not by changing the game. Look, like I said, it's details behind... It's behind the, the scenes. So humble? Ah, it's the it's a fact! <laughs> it's a fact. I don't know what to tell you, man. Who gets the most number of concurrent viewers? It's me. You, know? you guys have the power to change that as well. Please don't. <laughs> Though, aren't you happy about the bridge home being built? But no, I'm not happy about it. But, like, like I'm very unhappy about it. You know, I didn't want it to be burned. But, you, as I've said before, you don't tolerate people being shit to you. You don't tolerate it. So I, I put my foot down on multiple occasions, and they just did nothing about it. You know? There, there's only so much you can tolerate of... Somebody being an absolute shit stain to you before you say, right, that's it, this is over. You know, they abuse their trust with me over and over and over. It's not like one occasion, over and over and over again. They kept doing it, and I put my foot down, and then that's it. It's, you know, they burnt their bridges with me. I'm, I, there's an opportunity for forgiveness, but it'll take time and effort, and they're not putting any effort in. I don't expect them to either. It's that's just what's done is done, and that's all there is.
Don't let the chat trigger you into this topic again, please. Yeah, okay. Look, I, I feel like I said enough. That's enough. That's enough. Alright, well we gotta get there quickly before they start barricading things up. But I gotta open the gate as well. But yeah, if we keep all of our forces down here, they keep theirs down there. But once they start putting barricades up, we're gonna be in trouble. Okay, let's get moving. We can only fit so many units through the gate at a time. For some reason, sometimes I don't even want to go through the gate. Luckily it doesn't take them that long to get over the walls. What you're saying is the future biggest mana lord streamer? No, no, that's not gonna happen. Would you say Wormer 3 IE is the best Total War game if Wormer 2 never existed? Yes, I would probably say that. But that's the problem, isn't it? Wormer 2 exists. That's the argument I keep having with people. It's not that Wormer 3 is bad, it's that Wormer 2 is better, in my opinion. Better this than the end of like Prince of Macedon? Honestly, dude, it's just, it's the exact same outcome. It's the ex it's the exact same thing that happened to Prince of Macedon. Well, no, not the not the exact same thing. It's similar. But yeah, that's that's with Prince of Macedon. He was being mistreated, and he called them out on it, and uh, they didn't fix it because that's not what they do. Oof. Having them run around like this in a big conga line could be a problem. But yeah, there's, there's going to be this big discussion for a while now, or arguing, arguing I guess, with uh, Warhammer 3 versus Warhammer 2. It'll happen for a while until Warhammer 3 is clearly better than Warhammer 2, which at the moment it isn't. Some people will like Warhammer 3 better than Warhammer 2, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But some people will like Warhammer 2 more than 3. There's nothing wrong with that either. Because um, they do play quite differently. how it is. What can CA do to make Wormer 3 better than the second one, your opinion? Uh, they've got a lot of things to do to fix it. I think they they really need to have another go at, at the sieges. They really, it, it really, I think it mostly comes down to the AI, but the other thing that they need to, need to do is um, add some more interesting mechanics to the factions which they like removed mechanics for. And then they need to fix their AI, so it's not it's not an easy thing to do. Alright, so far they haven't done anything. They might be heading back. We should probably cap this one as well, because I've known them to come back and try to cap at this point. So we might as well cap this one here first, so that we can at least get a little bit more capping power. And then we just have to hold this position as long as we can. Would you rather play Warmer 2 right now? Uh, no, not necessarily. You gotta keep in mind, I have over 10,000 hours in Warhammer 2. So, while I can say that I have had a, like, more enjoyment playing Warhammer 2, I've played everything in Warhammer 2. So, while Warhammer 3 isn't as good as Warhammer 2, it is newer than Warhammer 2, if that makes sense. Which means... 
at least I'm still discovering new things with Warhammer 3. Because, yeah, with Warhammer 2, it's just, you know... I've done everything, you know? There's not much more to do. There's no more content that's coming out for Warhammer 2. I can cover mods, but... Um, you know, I put in a ridiculous amount of hours into it. It's sort of like with Medieval 2. I love Medieval 2, but I've just played too much of it. Alright, doesn't look like they're sending anyone over here, which means zero casualty win. Cool. Let the DLC team that made Warden and Paunch at the game for six months have fixed it up a lot of it. Dude, I don't know. I don't know um, if that's actually the case. I don't think the same people are on it. I don't think it's the same people. It's a, it's a different... Like... I, I was in the partner program for two years. Since uh, 20... Uh, no, when, when was it? Late 2019. That's when I re-entered the... Um, the partner program and went during that two year time from okay the first DLC I got early access to was um, what was it called Snickchin Malice I can't remember what that DLC is called but Snickchin Malice right from that point onwards until Silence of the Fury behind the scenes was very different than between um, the, the announcement of Warhammer 3 so that's 2021 until now it was it was very different I noticed a very big shift so I don't think the same people were um, who were working on those DLC are necessarily working on this I don't think it's the same people. There was a there's a very big difference. Something shifted. I'm not sure what it was. The thing I do for you to get pulled into Paradox Games with Spiffing Brit? Yeah, but I tried Paradox Games on the channel. It doesn't work for me. And here's here's the thing. When it comes to Paradox games, you've already got... There's already, like, loads of competition. And at the end of the day, I don't like Paradox games as much as Total War games, right? Um, there's already heaps of competition with people who are just way more familiar with Paradox games than I am. I'd be starting from scratch. I just don't have time for that, you know? Especially for something that I just don't get into as much. DLC won't be coming back. Well, I know for a fact that some of the people, some of the lead people that were working, Shadow and Blade, that's it. Um, some of the lead people that were working on Warhammer 2 DLC are not working on Warhammer 3 DLC. Some of those people are not on the project. I know it's the same lead developer, right? But you got to understand that a lead developer is also the sum of all the people that work with them. So it's not all the same people. But we'll see. Maybe maybe the, the next six months are going to be amazing. But I've been saying that for bloody six months. <laughs> you know, after Warhammer 3 came out, I was like, don't worry guys, they're going to patch Realm of Chaos really quickly. The DLC team is on top of it. They never did. You know? I gave them the benefit of the doubt with Realms of Chaos. And I was like, yep, it sucks at the moment, but just give it a few months, Realms of Chaos. It'll be purring, purring like a sweet kitty in no time. I couldn't have been more wrong. They basically didn't do anything to fix it. You know, it's still a piece of shit. It's ruined. It's going to be abandoned where the realm of chaos. It's, it's, I don't, I don't see them ever fixing that. Um, so I was wrong about that. And then I thought to myself, okay, cool. Well, the immortal empires is coming up. They're going to, they're going to bring back the same spirit that was Warhammer 2. They're not, it's not, it's not the same. 
Alright, I want you to force march over to here. Okay, I was just using that to check what's going on. My throng stands ready. So, you never know. Maybe the next six months will be good. And I keep saying that, you know. Oh, you know, just give it time. Just give it time. We'll get there eventually. But you know what? It's a bad attitude. And I'll tell you, the attitude at CA was fucking trash for the last 12 months. You know? I think they're just going to keep doing the same shit. Moisty Bread did a super chat. Why would you ask that Wormer 3 is better than Wormer 2 right now? Uh, thanks for the chat, dude. That's not that's, that's not an objective truth, but okay. Thanks for the chat. But you know, we'll just have to wait and see. You know, I, I just I just don't know what's coming. You know, you know just, maybe the next thing is going to be amazing and change everything. But I don't I just don't know. What is the green box have on the armies? Yeah, it's just a graphical glitch. Because I got a mission probably to assassinate that one. Let me just check. Yeah, I got an assassination attempt for this, but... I've only got 23% chance of success, so... There's just no hope of achieving that. Anthony Luck did a 25 HK super chat. How Lizardmen can attack and sieges battles early mid to late game. Some maps are small and especially in Wormer 2 where melee is debuffed so much. I don't know how to answer that. You just gotta make it work somehow. There's yeah, like early game lizardmen can be tough. Um chameleon skinks can really help a lot if you get them in the early game. Um I think people do rely very heavily on Saurus Warriors, and you can do Saurus Warriors if you're playing with, like, Gorok or Krokgar, but the other ones probably shouldn't as much, but I'm not sure in terms of Warhammer 3. Thanks, Super Chat. And in... About any software development project, devs don't really have any saying in what's to code. It's all about strategic decisions from the project lead. If there's a more instead project... Oh, I totally agree. I totally agree. That's why I've always said that, you know, the people actually doing the coding, it's not their fault. It's the, the leadership at CA. It's like I said, it's an attitude problem. Um, you know, that's what I've had a problem with. Not not the not that they're like hiring bad employees. I think all of the CA employees are doing all the artwork and doing all the coding. They're great. They're probably under budgeted, probably because that's just typical of CA. But I've, I've always blamed the leadership at CA. Always. Anytime that shit hits the fan, it's always their fault. And this time it was their fault as well. You know, people who are in managerial positions. It's always their fault. Uh, Warlord of Gaul did a five dollars budget. Just join the stream. What are your plans for my boy Alberic? Be friends? Or are you gonna take him out? I, I don't know at this stage. It's not a priority, but uh, I'm probably gonna have to take him out. Thanks, Super Chat, though. Sick, sick. I only serve the changer. He might get wiped out by the cinch army. I do not think so. <laughs> All right. So at Hualotal. Uh, I can't really do much about that. That's fine. Might as well just not even tax it. There's not much money in there. Because there is... Luckily there's no Singe Corruption, so that's good. Uh, actually, I'll do that one first. Alright, we got a whole bunch of these. Let's get some... Random followers. Come on, man. I need cheaper buildings. <laughs> Just not getting the one I actually want. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. 
right, so... Mark. Seems kind of silly to go to war with them. Let me just see if I can get the settlement off them. You just give, speak just get it. My shield bearers and no. only... Okay, no. It's the same case with CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk, right? Oh, I have no idea. I can't speak on... on what goes on there. I have no idea. Can we get back to the game? Yeah, look. What am I supposed to do? You gotta understand how difficult this is. Half of the people in the chat don't want to talk about CA. The other half do. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> yeah. Pretty weak. And so is Clan Spittle. I'm wondering if I might be better to disband them, save a bit of money, and just re recruit them when next they invade. That's probably the best course of action. I don't imagine anything's coming this way for a while. Yeah. This is probably the best course of action. This will save us a lot of cash. So that I can put it into construction, because I can see a lot of things needing to be built now. Like like this, for example. Yeah, we, we need more cash. That way I can focus more on growth. And as long as this follower here... ...keeps an eye on this area, we'll be alerted to any Skaven that come down this way. Don't feel like that confederation is a good idea. King of the vampire right, let's move on. coast. I agree. Let's you just talk about what he wants to talk about. Uh, that's fine. I actually don't mind talking about CA. I don't mind talking about it. I only, like, hold back because I don't want to piss everyone off. Who farted? Did a $2 super chat? You said you needed more cash. Uh, I meant in the game, but thanks for super chat. <laughs> How am I liking Croxagore Lords? Croxagore Lords are really good in the early game because they're really good anti-infantry lords um, that can take a ton of punishment, whereas Sora Scar veterans, they get better than them later down the track, uh, but it takes a long time to get them to rank 18. Uh, Skinks, you can go either way, and, and Slan lords, um, I don't really train up Slan lords, I just recruit them at super high level later down the track. Uh, Alexander Johnson did a 50 SEK super chat, one F-bomb for your ISP. Alright, thanks dude, thanks super chat. There's lots of vent about that CA. Well, I think it's important to keep something in mind. Right? The community is not all united in their love or dislike of CA, right? There's going... Oh, good, they won. There's going to be disagreements with this. And some people are extremely angry about the Realms of Chaos. Like me, I'm extremely angry about that. Some people don't care. You know, some people... Absolutely 100% love all everything that's happened in Immortal Empires. And that's cool. You know? And they're going to sing CA's praises. And that's cool. All good. But some people don't. Unfortunately, I'm in that camp. And some people have worked with CA behind the scenes. And have actually had a good experience. And some people didn't have a good experience. 
And unfortunately, I'm in that camp. You know, I'm in the latter of all three fucking camps. So, that's a triple, triple fucking decker <laughs> problem. You know? So naturally, not happy with them. Unfortunately, it, it really is. It's not just one thing. It's like a, it's, it's a triple fucking whammy. So, yeah. It can be difficult, you know? I don't have much nice to say about them right now. Alright, we need to get over here. How strong are they? Uh, we've only got one army, so we can gauge that they're definitely weaker than us. Um, we should go into ambush stance and try to lure them out of the city. We don't know exactly where they are. They've got two cities. They might be at Quitax, they might be at Chakwa. It's hard to tell. But if we put ourselves over here... They're, okay, they're not at Quitax. Alright, if I go into regular stance, they might rush over here to try to defend it. Which is not necessarily what I want. Realm of Chaos is fine? No, it is not fine. It is absolutely not fine. Okay? It is the one of the worst game design catastrophes of, of Total War's history. One of the worst. The minute percentage of people that are okay with Realms of Chaos, and it's fine if you are, but you are a very small percentage of people. Like, the Realms of Chaos is so bad that it's almost inexcusable that uh, CA did such a bad job on it. It's almost inexcusable. Well, actually, it is inexcusable. You know? It's the equivalent of ordering a spaghetti bolognese and the... the they substituted the pasta for pubic hair. That's what, um, that's what the Realm of Chaos is. It's a bowl of pubic hair <laughs> that you that that you got to eat. It's shit. I've had notoriously bad uh, internet lately. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. I'm to call up my internet server. For I can't call up now. It's four o'clock in the morning. So I'm sorry that this is like uh, making the experience of watching the stream not fun for you guys. I can promise you, it's not fun for me either. Okay, so yeah, you'll have to tell me exactly where we left off there. Uh, apparently the bowl of pubic hair, that's where it left off. As as I was saying, um, with Realm of Chaos, and I'm going to keep saying this until they fix it, which they, I don't think they're ever going to do it. Um, Realm of Chaos was like ordering a bowl of pasta and getting a bowl of pubic hair instead. Okay, it's not what I ordered. It's not what you, most of you guys ordered. It's a terrible campaign, extremely badly designed, and CA should be ashamed of themselves for it because, honestly, it flies in the face of the basic formula of Total War. Like, they should know better. Like, the original creator of Total War put down a formula for how to create Total War campaigns, and it takes a giant shit on it. Uh, Balda became a member for three months. All good. Randomness is a spice of life. Yeah, well, it's not great for streams. Thanks to the chat. It's like finding a big dick in your salad. Yeah, it's basically it. It's finding a... It's, and, and also, it's like finding a big dick in the salad, and then the waiter going, Hey, fuck you, mate. Fuck you, mate. <laughs> that's basically what it was like. I'm gonna keep saying that, because that's... That's what it was. Okay. And they haven't done anything to redeem themselves. Not a bloody thing. But when they do, I will say so. When they do redeem themselves. If they do. But they have to earn it. As I keep saying, they got to earn this stuff. They can't just have it for free. And they can't just wait out the time. They can't do something shit and then just be like, well, we'll just wait six months and then people will forget. Nah, it's not good enough anymore. Not when you've done things repeatedly like this. Alright, I don't think there's anything else for us to do. 
you know? And we need to keep bringing this stuff up about the Realms of Chaos, right? Because CA do watch these streams every now and again, and they need to, people need to be reminded of it, because otherwise people will forget, because otherwise CA will do it again, right? They'll do it again and again and again, because they never learn. Their structure is backwards, and their attitude is shit. So you gotta keep reminding them that they made the Realm of Chaos, so they don't do it again. Alright, moving on. New content, Legend Angry at CA for 8 hours. No, man, look, people are asking about, about this stuff and about the Realm of Chaos. And look, I'm angry at them 24-7. I just don't talk about it all the time. But yeah, I get that it can be, you know, frustrating to listen... Oh god, they're already back. Frustrating to listen to about this Realm of Chaos stuff, but you've gotta be... You've gotta keep talking about it. Okay? Don't forget the Realm of Chaos campaign right now, and I'm talking about the actual race for the Realm of Chaos stuff, not not the Zambaijin stuff. The Zambaijin stuff is fine. The, the Realm of Chaos stuff is still shit to this day. You shouldn't, like, don't forget that Warhammer 3 is a, depending on your currency, 60 to $90 game. It's not acceptable that this 60 to $90 game should just be a DLC so you can play that um, Immortal Empires. That's not good enough. See, I should be forced to fix it. How do we know you're not a robot replacement from CA? If, if I'm a robot replacement from CA, would I still be talking shit about them? He's absolutely right. We shouldn't let them forget about how much they fucked up. That's right. Because if you do let them get away with it, they'll do it again. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Leading up to Realms of Chaos, right? If you go back to the streams from last year and ask me, what do you think about Warmer 3? I had, like, complete confidence in CA. Uh, I'm not getting involved. I'm not interested in, like, knowing what they're doing. I, I trust in them. Surely they learnt from the... Why is there a zone of control there? That's interesting. You know, just let them do whatever they want. I trust them. And, you know. Ugh. I shouldn't have. It's on Game Pass now. Yeah, that's great, but not everyone's going to get Game Pass. And also, if you get Game Pass, you I don't think you can get Immortal Empires. Much like the Vortex campaign, I'm guessing the DLC Lords who don't participate in the race will be way more fun. Yeah. But also, like... The Vortex campaign's not great, right? It's not great. But... It's so much better than the Realm of Chaos one. So much better. Davy Jones 06 of the photos. Hey Legend, thanks for the amazing videos. You mentioned that you like Dragon Ball references. How much of that anime did you watch? A lot. Uh, I've watched pretty much everything to do with Dragon Ball. Pretty much. Except for Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't know, I just couldn't get into that. Um, thanks for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Because, like, I get it as well that, you know, these streams might get more views or might do better if I just sit down and shut up and didn't talk about these things. But, and that well, that would be good, but at the same time, I just can't tolerate what happened and CA just getting a free pass on it. I just can't tolerate that. Because, like, if they do this again sometime soon, that's going to cost me more down the track. Like, I just hope that like, if they never do it again, then that's good for me in the long run. Good for everyone in the long run. But if they, five years down the track, release another fucking Realm of Chaos disaster, it's not good for anyone. Not good for any of the YouTubers. Not good for them. Not good for you guys. Uh, I do want Renowned and Feared. 
I don't need that. Let's go with lightning strike. But just one point into it. Also, I don't agree with the mentality of don't worry about the game's issues, mods will fix it. It kind of vindicates the devs. Yeah, I don't agree with that either. What I feel like is that the game should, on its own, be able to stand on its own two legs. Right? If the game stands on its own two legs, and then has modding support, then that's like, awesome. But if uh, the base game sucks, and you use the, uh, use the um, excuse, mods will fix it, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. Mods should be enhancing the game, not fixing it. And if that is the case, then CA should stop designing campaigns. And just make mod tools. And don't even bother about making campaigns. Anymore. I, in hindsight here, I probably shouldn't have disbanded the army, because I'm going to need to recruit again. I can see it's coming. And we need to go from over here as well. Yeah, in hindsight was a mistake. I wasn't expecting Clan Pestilence to be back here so soon. Yeah. So, sometimes mistakes are made, but I, I needed to save money. Realm of Chaos doesn't deserve to be on the same selection screen as IE. I agree. I agree. Like, there, there is actually a formula for how to make a Total War game, right? It, it's pretty- to simplify it as much as possible, it's simply this. 50% campaign, 50% um, battles, right? And it's supposed to- it's supposed to interconnect and work together, right? So the effects that you do on the battlefield, they boost your campaign. The things you do on the campaign boost the- um, boost the battles, right? They, they interconnect. Now the problem is, the Realm of Chaos, what it does, is it drives a fucking wedge right through there and says, right, the stuff on the campaign, don't bother with that. The stuff in the battle, don't bother with that. Focus on the narrative. And it just is dis completely disjoint, uh, disjointed. Ruins the, the overall campaign experience. Means you have to ignore the other two elements to focus on the narrative. Or the better way to play Realm of Chaos is ignore the narrative entirely. It's kind of weird where um the best, most optimal way to play a certain narrative is to actually not play it. And I told Creative Assembly this in early access. I said to them, I said, you have created a game mode where the most enjoyable way to play it is to not play it. And I said that that's not good game design, okay? You shouldn't be having, you shouldn't be making mechanics where the players that are actually still playing the game are trying to dodge it, which is what I was doing. I told them I was dodging the mechanic. I just wasn't going into the realms of chaos. I wasn't participating, you know? I refused to play the race. I'm glad they actually put that option in the game because if it wasn't an option, I would just wouldn't play it at all. That's a third wheel. The thing is you can do a narrative in a campaign. But the, the narrative and the battles and the campaign, they all have to connect and support each other. And the thing is, they've done that before. And it's, it's so frustrating where it just feels like their lead game developers don't even understand why their games are successful. Probably, probably because they don't play the games and they have no idea. You know? I just, I think it's utterly ridiculous. Okay, that was good. Yeah, I can still... They're still just better off as is. Um, yeah, still leave them alone. Alright, we don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of that, because we're not recruiting from here. And that way we could put a growth or money building down, depending on what we need. What is the best example of Total War game made right? 
Warhammer 2. Oh, okay, so Warhammer 2 Immortal Empires is what I would use as the best example. And then a very close second, I would say Immortal Empires. And some people would say Immortal Empires is the best example. Now, the thing is to keep in mind is that Immortal Empires doesn't have a narrative. You know, you, you make your own narrative, right? But if you're going to, like, force a narrative, you can do it. It's just that that's not how you do it. Will Spool did a 5 euro superjet. My favorite character from Dragon Ball is Vegeta. Bought some displays with him. You had partnership. What is yours? Uh, thanks for the chat. Yeah, I'd probably say Vegeta as well. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the partnership with this plate was really good until they got, like, sued or something by, by Games Workshop and they just ghosted us. <laughs> I couldn't get anything Warhammer related from from games, uh, from this plate anymore. This is all, all gone. Alright, we've got some of this. Come on. There it is. There it is. We finally got one. Income from all buildings, local region. That could be good later down the track. All right, let's uh, let's let's put this on someone. Okay, I've got a slam mage that I'm probably never gonna recruit. If we, ooh, that's a big boy. Uh, obstinate, obstinate uh, minor skink. Construction cost minus fifteen percent for all buildings. That's one. That's good. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Uh, where is the... Yeah, Console of Kalith. You should have that as well. Okay. Now, if we have a look... Uh, okay, so that is 850. If we disband him, is it still 850? Yeah, okay. So it does apply even when they're disbanded. I just need to check that stuff sometimes. Cool. 15%. That'll save us a lot of money over time. Alright, good, good, good. And let's move on. Why did you get sued? I've never been sued in my life. No, I said Displayed. I think Displayed got sued by Games Workshop. I don't know that for certain. It's just all of a sudden they pulled all of their Games Workshop stuff. Why not use heroes for economic ancillary? Aren't lords bad due to supply lines? Um, yep. Yep. I don't have access to any heroes right now. Yeah, eventually, putting them on a bunch of heroes to boost the income, that could work fairly well. No, I'm a bit busy, boy. Rip King Jars? Yeah, j Jar stuff, yeah. Hey, Legend, I declared war on a beastman that was raiding my territory after warning them, and I still got diplomatic penalty. Is it a bug? Yep, and I'm aware of that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. It's a, a mechanic that is, in theory, a great idea. A really great idea. And it doesn't work at all. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Not one bit. What line did you go down for to Hennewin? Um, I went and went a bit down the magic, and then a bit down the blue line, because I need to. I needed to save money. All right, there is. I don't know where the Cornate army is, but it's not in Chakwa. Pretty funny if he just swings around from over here. It's at the Sude. What's this one? Capture. Oh, okay, I was about to do that anyway. Win two battles. That's good. Okay. Beta isn't ending anytime soon. 
Uh, well. Yeah, as I've said before, the beta is just a marketing tool for CA to manage expectations. It's actually, it's very clever, actually. This plague has not taken! Okay, I think you should actually come down this way. Because I feel like Skrulk is either going to jump in the underway, no, not, not or so he's going to move over here, in which case I need this guy ready to go. Get, get us... Don't get to Kikes, I need you to still recruit locally. LDBA81 did a 5 euro super chat. Hi Legend, how many disaster battles do you get daily? Just asking for the disaster situation with Bretonio I sent today for you. Alright, thanks super chat. Um, I get... I don't count them, I get a lot. I get a lot, so it varies. But, you know, sometimes I'll just open up the first save file of that's on top of my list. And I'll just do that one, and then that'll just be my work done for the day. Because I might spend like half an hour or something doing it. And then that, then I don't even open the other ones. So, it's just luck of the draw. Luck of the draw. Um, sometimes I'll go through several days worth of disasters trying to find one. Because... I got a pretty good idea of what people like and don't like from disasters. And sometimes the disaster on offer just doesn't tick any of the boxes for that, you know. There has to be like, there's like a threshold. If it requires too much cheese, I can't do it. People get sick of it. If the battle takes too long, people get sick of it. I can't do it. Um, if the battle is too mundane, as in it's like balanced army versus balanced army and it says Pyrrhic victory in order resolve, can't do it. People aren't interested. You know, that kind of stuff. So, it just depends. He's picky. I am picky, yes, but that's because you guys are picky. There's a big difference between a good disaster battle and a bad one. It's like 50,000 views difference. So yeah, I'm not going to just pick the first thing I see. There's a big, big difference. Did you see my past disaster into Jim Kings? No, if I didn't respond to it, it means I haven't seen it. I'm sure I got it. It's just buried in amongst the other 11,000 emails I've got. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I try to get through as many as I can, but... I have a limited amount of time. I get there, people who are sending in disaster battles want their disasters fixed. But, as I say, I can't fix all of them. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to do here. Let's have a look at diplomacy. Onward. Oh, wow, they oh. want an aggression pact? No. An ad? Uh. They still want to confederate. Protector of the realm. I really don't want Tlanxler to die. But I also don't think confederating them for a minor city is worth it. So we'll just have to see how we go there. It's quality of content, not picky. Well, you could argue it one way or another with that. Yeah, and the thing is as well with disaster battles, it's probably an underway intercept. Another thing with disaster battles is that um, battles that are like a hundred percent impossible, they're actually some of the worst viewed. Like if I go into it and said, you know, clearly there's no hope, but we'll try it anyway. People usually just switch off straight away. So the battle has to be winnable. And at the end of the day, if I can't win the battle, as in I cannot win the battle, um, it doesn't help the person who sent in the save file anyway. Based on your email volume, would you say Worm interest is an all-time high? Mm, no, not really. No.
No. Definitely spiked with the release of Warhammer 3. Uh, sorry, with the release of Immortal Empires, but no, it's not, not an all-time high. This is not the peak of the channel. Not by a long shot, actually. I don't think we're ever going to get back to that point. You could build stuff so much quicker if you switch the Edict. I know, I know, but I also need growth. You're absolutely right, I, I know I could switch the Edict, but I, I'm getting growth quickly. The fact that we, c we could reduce these things in build time, that's great, but I just don't need to do that. Alright, I see what he's trying to do here. The Hornet one disagrees! Ooh, 40% chance. Yeah, I, I saw that coming. Alright, I hope that that other army is not nearby. If it is, we're in trouble. It isn't. Okay, good. Salamander hunting packs and one-shot towers. Oh, like, not wall towers, but just regular towers. Okay, that's cool. Hey, Legion, I wanted to ask if you'd be doing any saving disaster campaigns for Warmer 3 and beyond that. Hope you have a good day. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to do saving disaster campaigns. It's just that they're very rare to get a good one. You know, a lot of times people will post in a saving disaster campaign. Uh... Okay, I think I need to fight this manually because those other fighters are going to come straight back over here. And it was a fairly big army of Coronate Warriors. Um... So yeah, with the Saving Disaster campaigns, more than happy to do them, but Saving Disaster campaigns is like, a lot of times people will get into a situation, panic, it's not actually a disaster campaign, and they'll just write, Legend, please save my campaign, and I'll load it up, and it's, it's not even a problem. Like, I just can't make a video on that. And, and if I do that, people will be like, Yeah, this is not a disaster campaign. Why, why can't we get a really good one? It's like, I just don't get them very often. Um, peak was during Warden and Ponch DLC. Yes, uh, peak... The peak of this channel was during the Warden and Ponch DLC. Yes. That was the peak of this channel. Congrats, Mr. 4 4K subs. Alright, so we've got summons we've got to deal with. So we need to be ready for that. Well, we want to try to waste them. So I need these guys to be hidden, because otherwise they'll pop it down on them. And the ones that can't hide... That can hide, yeah. Okay. Yep, that works for me. And these guys here will sneak in and cap points without them knowing. And these guys here will just keep moving to draw the attention of the... The corn portals. Which will only be two. But yeah, wherever they summon them... We just need to make sure that... They just... You know, we can kill them, or we can take no damage by just waiting for them to expire. Let's not forget that Legend Shadow was basically running a business, and prioritize the content that tends to yield the most revenue of others. Oh yeah, for sure, like, I don't... I don't, uh, I don't really do disaster battles or campaigns for fun. Oh, fuck no. No way, like... Like, I'm not saying they're, like... Like, as far as work goes, it's about the best thing you could really hope for, to actually, you know, kind of enjoy <laughs> doing them. But yeah, I would not do disaster battles, like, for fun. You know, so they've got to perform on the channel. If they didn't, I wouldn't do them at all. I'd just be done. I've, I've done, like, what, seven, eight hundred disaster battles at this point? Um, you know, a ridiculous amount by most standards. I just, I just wouldn't... Wouldn't do them. Uh, Wilhelm the Great did a five dollars super chat. And war, did you see how the demons of chaos look in Atharian's prison? Scarbrand does not even have an imprisonment bonus. Oh, really? 
It's the beta, dude. <laughs> Thanks for the chat. I'm telling you, the high, they put no effort into the high elves or dark elves. Absolutely no effort. Like this, the uh, yeah. I think that they just focus their attention on what they consider to be critical issues, and uh, they left a lot of stuff really unfinished. This is why I don't want to play high elves. Would you rate your doom stack for fun? No. No man, I don't care about doom stacks. <laughs> I just do them so that you guys can be entertained. Like, do you think the other creators fucking um, do videos on blog posts because they enjoy it? No, they don't. Nobody fucking cares about those shit blog posts. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, you get paid. It's, uh, easy money. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, nobody, nobody doesn't, nobody, like, nobody would do that if it was, uh, you wouldn't have any chance of getting paid at all. You know. I don't think so anyway, I just, I can't imagine why. Where's the other summon? I haven't seen it yet. Because it takes two minutes. Alright, Tehenna, I need you to get rid of that tower. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Cool, cool, cool. All right. With that, now we can afford to be discovered, and it'll be okay. All right. I just had to make sure we didn't get discovered until that point. Uh, might be able to take out the tower just by... Uh, there's some blood letters over here. So few towers, and they just don't have that many units at all. So, See, in case you're wondering, why am I trying so hard to not take any casualties? Because there's an army right outside the city that's going to turn straight back around and attack us over the intern. And it's fairly strong. So we need to be ready to fight it. And if we take, you know, 200 casualties in this battle, you could end up losing the next one. If there was no chance of another fight, if this was just the end of it, I would have just auto-resolved it. But man, so many disaster battles have been sent in with like, Ah, I auto-resolved this fight and now I can't fight this next one. I got even more resistance now. And yeah, you definitely shouldn't ever underestimate corn. Corn's strong. Man, to be honest, screw that. This ad-driven society is bogus, bro. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. If I wasn't making any money, I wouldn't be here at all. Just keep that in mind. I get that some people don't like that, you know, these things can be run as a business. Or whatever, and they want it just to be run for fun. But I can promise you that if you tomorrow removed my ability to make money from the channel, that's... I would not come back the next day. And I'll be gone forever. Okay, so you just got to keep that in mind. I would not be coming back. Now, I'm not saying I only do this for money. But, if it's not there, I won't be here. Because this is, this is my job. You know, and I got, I got other things that I would rather do. 
if I wasn't getting paid. And that is the case with most creators. Most creators would not do this for a long period of time, making no money. They just wouldn't do it. And I get that that's hard to some people to understand, but that's just the, the reality of it. Because if it's just a hobby and you do it for fun, you wouldn't do it for years on end. Like, I'd, don't get me wrong, I'd still play the game. I just wouldn't live stream, I wouldn't make videos, uh, I wouldn't be a public figure. Why would I get all the drawbacks with none of the benefits? Being, being a, like, being famous sucks. <laughs> it fucking sucks. Uh, man, give me more anonymity, please. I can only imagine what it's like to actually be truly famous. I'm only like, like, minor, 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 minor famous. Not even that. Imagine if you're like truly famous. God damn. That'd be freaking horrible. Do I do drugs and shit? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, I don't do drugs. I do shit though. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't need drugs to cope. Do you know what I I used to cope? Ranting. That's my coping method. If I didn't rant, I'd probably have a mental breakdown. I need to get it out of my system. Cause like when I when I did like my um uh, a few years back, I went into therapy to sort of deal with that, some of these anger issues that I have. Alright. Because, like, anger just builds up in me pretty quickly. you got to have tools to deal with it. And one of the best ways of dealing with it is to let it out before it becomes a huge problem. So. Thanks for putting up with my... My, uh, my way of coping. Because, yeah, I've definitely had uh, anger issues returning this year. Holy! Yeah, I, w I wish things had been different. I wish I could just pretend that everything is just fantastic and it's sunshines and rainbows everywhere. But it's just, it's just not the case. It's not true, and I just can't pretend it at these otherwise. You're only saying that so we don't get jealous of your supermodel sided parties. <laughs> I have no social life, dude. I barely see my family, let, let alone my friends. Alright, we're so close to getting in here. But they're just patrolling this area. Oh, we don't have the thing. I need to get that. I remember Legend had no chill before. Yeah, I had no chill before because, like, I had a lot of anger and no way to bloody vent it. Now I've got a lot of anger, but I still got a way to vent it. There we go. Army lost them. Cool. All right. I, I think that's fairly minimal damage. That definitely would have been better than than order resolve. It's got to have been better than order resolve. I took nine casualties. Especially considering how much time and effort I put into that. Why not take time off to visit friends and family? Um. Okay. So that's a good question. So. You gotta keep in mind what I've been trying to do on YouTube. So, 
it's a very competitive scene. And for for about five years now, I have endeavoured to be the best I can be. And that has required me to not take time off. So if I take time off, I will fall off. That's just what happens. Yeah. Now... Yeah. So while I still have that goal in mind, I, I can't take time off. Not really. Well, I got a day or two here and there, but, you know, no extensive time off. Alright, so they will either go straight to Itza, or they'll turn around and go to us. I just wasn't sure which way, but we should be able to handle it. Oh, I don't have enough. Our thing of this expired, and I like it so much. Okay, now, scroll. Ugh, we can't really fight him without that. Uh, it'll take him another turn to get here. But this one might be coming in. Damn, you're lucky. Holy crap. Okay, so what I did there was try to block that so it doesn't reinforce. I kind of feel like Skrulk is going to come down this way. So I need to recruit another Lord here. We're not ready to attack him this turn. It won't work. So if he comes down here... It's hard to actually predict where he's going to be as well. Yeah, you should be recruiting because if he besieges you, it'll just cancel it. When can we expect Warhammer 3 tier list, Faction Lords units? I'm really interested in Cavalry Mail units. Or shifting out. I have no plans to do any more um, tier lists for the time being. I think I'm done with them for now. Can you revive Boros if he gets wiped out from Marco and IE? I I've heard that you can, but I'm not 100% sure. As far as I'm aware, every single Lord in the game can be revived. With the exception of Sigvold? It's the only one that apparently can't be revived. As Again, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so wood is useless to us. Yeah, just providing logs. No, nah, that's trash. Yeah, this is trash money. Okay. Garrison Croxy Lord to Astromancy Stance for extra sight. Thanks, dude. It's amazing how allowing myself to get angry regularly made me less of an asshole overall. Yeah, you gotta let let those feelings out on a regular basis. When you get pissed off, you gotta vent about it. Because otherwise, it, it builds up in a really unhealthy way, and then you it it uh, it can become an even bigger problem. And I, you know, I get that people be like, "Ah, oh, anger is so unpleasant to look at." And I I get it. Um, I really wish things had gone differently. I really wish it. I hate being angry. I really hate it. But fuck, wishing it away doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work at all. Gotta let it out. You know, wishing it away just makes you resentful. Because what you're doing by wishing it away is you're not addressing the issues. You're um, placating other people that don't want to listen to your, your problems. And that's unhealthy. Alright, let's see if... 
it's uh... What's his fucking problem here, man? I think it's because of our strength ranking. We need to get stronger if we want any chance of confederating him. Relations kind of high enough. Yeah. Bro, you literally left for months and we're all still here. The drop off was from with chaos, not you. I didn't leave for months. What are you talking about? Oh, right. In the September last year, where I took some time off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but don't forget, I was making videos and stuff still. Uh, Nifis World became a new member. Rikari, the Father's Object. I figured out how to see healing cap in Women 3. Not enough characters here. I can put in chat, though. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks to the chat. Realm of Chaos is now 100% sandbox with 1.3 and 1.4 chains. You just build protection chain times one each province, and it's no different than just smaller. Uh, okay, that's one way. Ooh, shit. Okay, I didn't think he'd be able to reach me. Um, it's not pure sandbox. It's, okay, so that's a, that's actually a really good point. Um, I, Eclipse two one two became a new member. Thanks, do appreciate the support. That's actually a really good point. What they've done with that is good, but it is a band-aid solution to make the narrative go away. That's the problem with it. Like, it's good that they did that, but it doesn't make the Realm of Chaos mechanic good. It just gives you another tool to avoid it by making it the rifts not show up in your province. You still have to deal with the Realms of Chaos. Like, the other factions getting onto it and getting their stuff done. Alright, I think we can get away with an auto resolve here because by casualties medium, it'll just be them for the most part. Yeah, it's okay. Lizard wiped them out. Yeah, be fine. We got we got good replacement. Right? You have to hit the spell, then mouse over the unit on the battle map, not the unit card. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, yeah. Oh well. I can't check that right now. Um, okay. No, not with them. They're on my to kill list. Yes, hello, I'd like to purchase one high five and a smile combo, name your price. Ah, uh, membership. <laughs> if you're a member, and that's, that's what you get. You gotta remind me though, because like, I sometimes forget. Alright, let's have a look at these missions. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit tricky. Alright, we've now got enough to get the sacrifice of Zuhua. This really helps against Skaven. Alright, we've got seven units there, plus five units here. We've got Regiment of Renown. I've got two of three available. No, no, not not for us. Few night runner slings. Ugh, this guy here's not gonna make it.
Oh my god. <laughs> we got him. I thought I was gonna have to fight that manually. Yeah, I mean, it's all emergency stuff anyway. Take it. Good, we got the exact number of, um... Sacrifices needed to, to replace what we just spent. Alright, well, that's good. That's good. Alright, there's still army over here, but... It looks as though the dwarves might take it out. Also, there is a fucking plague shit there. We might have to suck up plague. Let's see, if I change this... I think I'm gonna have to suck. There's no way he's gonna be able to assassinate that. Is construction time one turn in global yet? Uh, no. I guess I could drop it down to minus three by minus three. I just don't see that as being better than this one right now because I'm growing my provinces. Like, the fact that they're taking a bit of time to build isn't really slowing me down, whereas I need that growth and that income. So, yeah, making things build in one turn right now, while it would be good, it's just not needed as much as the other stuff. Okay, that's cool. Yes. I am the Pirate King. Mm, okay. You win. So if you already knew about it, I saw you complain about it in the giant video yesterday, thought it might be a help. Why don't we go check on that? I, I've got that save file still, don't I? Let me just check. That's mine. Yeah, yeah, this one here. Okay, uh, let me just save it. We'll go and actually have a look and see what the, the heal cap was. Because, yeah, I was actually really curious about that with, um... With him? I don't have military access. I don't have military access on Gorok's territory. I can't come down this way. I guess if I trespass, it's pretty trivial amount of, um, of, uh, penalty. Oh yeah, we're at war with them. You at war with them too? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me just see, with, uh, Clan Pestilence, they have two settlements left. So they lost- okay. And Spittle has three. These three over here. So How much territory do you have? Six. How much do I have? Twelve. It's uh, the okay. That's a bad idea. Yeah, you recruit some new ones. Sick. 
Wow, he's done it four times in a row. Holy crap. I'm gonna recruit a new lord here. Get you over here. Just so I got more Croxigors to take on the Sentinel of Time, because I might fight the dwarves as well. I guess what we could do with Tehenna Wind is go to Mine of the Bearded Skulls and attack that. Kill the damn dwarves. Because this is under siege here. I'm not sure if... Uh, I think Clan Pestilence may actually be finished. And Spittle's not that big of a deal. Do these guys here want Confederation? No. Could go through there and still get replenishment. Uh, loaf of disappointment did an eight dollars image. How come you always stream so early in the morning? Uh, it's because that is the uh, the best time for me to stream to get the largest audience that I can. Also, the best behaving audience. Um, when I stream at other times, it's just not as good. So, since I do this as a business and I thrive to be the best I can be, this is the best time. It's not the most convenient for me, but you sometimes you got to make sacrifices to do these things. Sometimes you go. Okay, yeah, we're back on. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a quick crash, I guess. <laughs> These things happen. So let's move on. There's no point dwelling on it. We know that the internet's being crap. Maybe this gave me internet cable. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just bad internet. Yeah, you know, this happens, but I'll I'll try and get it sorted. I'll try and get it sorted. Are we going to check the healing cap of those giants? Yeah, but I need to save the game first. Uh, Magma1 Lord did a 5 year budget. Hey, Legend, love your stuff. May I ask a question? What is the difference between local region and local province? Okay, no worries, dude. Okay, Kikes is a local region. Zlan Zek is a local region. The Night Forest Road is the local province. So that's both of them. So it's just a hierarchy. You know? Region, region, province. Thanks, Super Chat. All right, let's move on. All right, now that it's just saved there. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Pause. Okay. Let's load up that save file and, and have a look to see on what the healing cap actually was. Since telling us about his anger, I was expecting more of a meltdown when he came back. <laughs> Dude, I can't get angry about... Okay, look, I can't get about angry about stuff that is out of my control, right? So, the internet crashing, like, that sucks. That's very frustrating because it makes my streams not good to watch. I get that. It's, it's very annoying. I hate it. But it's outside of my control. So, short of, you know, shaking your fist at the weather... There's really very little I can do. I, like I said, I'll call up my internet service provider and see what I can do, because something's clearly going wrong. But outside of that, what's the point of getting angry about it? Other things that I get angry about, however, these are very preventable! <laughs> very preventable. Yeah, some of these things. It didn't have to happen! There you go. I don't really get angry about things that I can't change. Or had no control over. Alright, so we just get into the battle and have a look. I get very angry about preventable shit happening 
That shouldn't happen. You know? Very angry about that stuff. Because, <laughs> you know, reopening old wounds. A lot of the stuff that happened this year shouldn't have fucking happened. I actually did a lot to try to make sure it didn't. I don't, that's, I don't think people realize that as well. I really fucking put in a lot of effort with CA this year. It was not simply a case of, oh, they fucked up. Now I, now I abandoned them. No. It was not the case at all. Alright, so, I believe we just get this one over here. It's not showing it. Might it be that it doesn't show it because of battle realism? The problem is this is on legendary difficulty. Do you know what it might be? It might be it doesn't show it because it's legendary difficulty. Not the unit card? Yeah, I know. I'm not going to do it on the unit card. It's next to the health bar. Cast it in the green arrow. It does, I've seen it once. Yeah, I think it might not show it because of battle realism. This is on legendary difficulty. Look, it's not there. I think it's a legendary difficulty thing. It doesn't show you on legendary. I think it used to, but then CA took it off for some fucking reason. Yeah, dude, I think it's legendary difficulty. We can test that out. I'll go find a campaign that's not on legendary. And we'll see if that is the reason. I reckon that's... I think that's it. I think it's legendary. Um, I'll go and find another save file in here that is likely to have a battle healing cap. Um, oh god. Uh, hang on, let me have a look in here. These are all freaking legendary, aren't they? Yeah. Legendary. Legendary. That one's on hard, but that's not Festus. That was legendary as well. So that's legendary. It's all fucking legendary. Doing custom battles. All right, all right. Let's 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 test this out in a custom battle situation. All right, we'll get. Um, let's see. Let's just. Uh, Pick a race that has a healer, Lord, what else will do. And pick a ancient tree man. Th that one should have life, right? Yeah, okay. And then just whatever. Then in terms of the setup. Alright. Okay, we'll t we'll do this. We'll test to see if it works on not realism, and then I'll put it on realism and see if it works. A koi zombie stack? I, I deleted all those save files. Sorry. <laughs> and we, we, we saw that in the video.
What are we testing? How to see the re like how much you can actually regenerate. Um, I now have a theory that you can't see it because it's battle realism. Yeah, look. Can replenish seven three seven one more health. Eternal God. That's a hundred percent of its health. Oh my god. Hang on. I gotta pause this for a sec. I think... Hang on. Let... I think this is bugged. Okay. 9828 multiplied by 0 0.75. <laughs> Bugged! Bugged! Oh my god! Bug! Ah, oh, bug. Okay. The tooltip is busted. It only shows the regen cap of the Lord. <laughs> that is why in the in the um, in the battle with Okoy. I kept healing my units, but it kept saying that the battle healing cap was like a million because it was Gorst's healing cap. <laughs> and his, his, it wasn't going down because that's just his healing. It wasn't showing the zombies. Yeah, it says his healing cap wasn't going down. We never saw what the zombies want is. So it's bugged. And it only shows in battle realism as well. Can you confirm it's Lord and not the caster? It's one and the same. Oh, I get okay, let's uh, I'll I'll get a I'll get a different caster and we'll see if it's different. <laughs> Alright. Does it only show the Lord Cap, or does it effectively apply to the Lord Cap? It only shows the Lord Cap. I, I guarantee you it, it, that's... They, that, uh, that was not the cap of that unit. Ready to serve. It shows the healing cap of the unit. That is casting the spell. Yep. That is 75% of that one's health. 2565. Five. Let's switch it over to here. Three, 7371, which we I calculated 75% of it. So you can't see the healing cap. It'll only ever show you the Lord's healing cap. Or, sorry, the spell casters. Well, are we going to win this? Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not seriously trying to fight that. <coughs> okay, well, there we go. And it only works on not battle realism. So that's why. Oh, cool. Alright, at least we sorted that out. Now, I just want to point out that in Warhammer 2... It actually has an icon on the unit card that you just hover over and see how much regen you have left. It's not battleism. I loaded a new Gorse campaign, very hard legendary, and the regen cap is shown. Well, it didn't happen on that 
um, Festus one. I don't know, man. I checked with the hero. I checked. Why doesn't it work with Festus? Doesn't matter. We wouldn't. We wouldn't have been able to see what the uh, the health was on the giant anyway. I don't know, man. It just didn't work. Look, like, it's just it's not important enough for me to focus any more time and energy on it. Um, it's just not really working as intended. So let's just not worry about it. Okay, so I hit enter. So let's move on. Is there a way to sacrifice souls faster with Bellicor rather than changing a gift every turn? Yeah, if you devote a character to a particular god, that counts towards souls towards that god. Yeah. So if you're trying to get souls to, to Korn, for example, devoting a character to Korn is how you do it. Unfortunately, there's no way to devote to Undivided, so I'm not sure how that works. Oh, wait, no, there is. If you get an Undivided Demon Prince, that's how you do it. Yeah, you can dedicate, what, 10,000 souls straight up by getting a Demon Prince. Honestly, though, that, that bug is not that big of a deal. Like, I would say I, I probably overreacted a little bit with it. It's, it was not that big of a deal. That's not something that I would really give CA a lot of shit over, but it's funny that it's such a silly thing. Like, being able to just see what the regen cap is. And maybe they've hidden it because they know it's completely borked on so many characters. <laughs> They're like, let's look. We know it's balked, but they don't know it's balked. All right, here's an interesting situation. Why don't we go and assist them? <laughs> Scaving corruption plus one or promises. That's not really going to be a problem. Will you play Dark Elves in Warhammer 3? Not until they get reworked. I have no intention of covering them. Oh, Clan Scryer is out. Wait! Wait! That fucker has traveled all the way from Skaven Blight. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh well, putting a plague down here is not going to hurt us that much. Maybe I'll just sell these regions. I don't know. Let me tell you a story about the greatest ally. <laughs> trying to reconnect but it's really bad so if it does reconnect you guys will see this is really choppy but I think I'd show you just to let you know uh...
Okay, it looks like it's coming back on now. Just give it a moment. Choppy, choppy, choppy. That's actually higher than it should be. It needs to be at 12,000. Alright, there we go. As soon as we get the green box, alright, so we should be good for another, what, 20 minutes until it does it again. Alright, cool. So I was about to sell off that settlement. And that also, I believe, sorts out a mission, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 500 gold. <laughs> Can I have it back? No. What about this one? I wonder if I could sell them that other settlement. Mm, if it came with a military alliance, I might do it. Because that way I can borrow his armies and weaken him. But we gotta wait until he actually values it. Okay, so what we're gonna do over here... We're going to... How about you? If this guy here attaches... On, this one here attaches into that army... into to Henwin's army, then he will be able to reduce its upkeep cost by 20%. Super chat question, is the War Trophy still good in Warhammer 3? Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't see any reason why it isn't. Yeah. Thanks. So sorry I missed it. Easy name. Sorry, because you're reading my super chat. Got lost in the connection. Yes, yeah, so, sorry, dude. Um, let me just scroll up and see if it's still there. It is, actually. Is the Y Trophy still good in Wormer 3? $2 super chat. Alright, yeah, thanks, super chat. Um, yeah, yeah, it's still good in Wormer 3. It's just, um, depending on which one. So yeah, they will probably launch the attack over the end turn. No, Gracia, never wrong. Yep, they will probably launch the attack over the end turn. And yeah, look at this. Oh, wow. And then, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Alright, what are we getting next? Yeah, reduce construction cost for research, uh, resource producing. Build. Oh, growth, that's good. Um, yep, yeah, alright. Let's, uh, let's keep going. What about construction? I can build... We don't get access to the Star Chamber building in minor settlements anymore. Um, defenses? Let me look. Oh, four units, wow. Um, probably want to build this for the technology, but I'm out of money. Let me see if I can get something in diplomacy, actually. Magnus2010 did a $10 super chat. Didn't realize you streamed this early in the morning. Hope you enjoy the stream. It The changes to blessed units instead of ROR make all the difference. All right, thanks, dude. I, I'm enjoying the campaign, but I got to admit, this is not my favorite stream. Not your fault at all, <laughs> you guys, but... The arguing about CA and the constant disconnections. Yeah, today's not been great. <laughs> it's not. Onward. It's not your fault though. Cut. King. Yes. It happens. It's, it's, it's outside your control. But yeah, I'm enjoying the campaign. So these guys will come in and assist. Where whoever wins, we attack basically. Do you think the warband system should be added to all races? No. One, it's not that good, and two, that's something unique for the Warriors of Chaos. If you if you give every mechanic to every race, then actually that could be interesting, but I don't know. 
have Total War 3 finally gotten good. You have to make that decision for yourself. I'm not getting involved with that anymore. I'm I'm done with that. Five hours, twenty-five turns, roughly to five turns per hour. That's pretty normal for me, though. DCA drama entertaining. Not gonna lie, mm. I get criticized a lot about it. Yeah, look at that. They they didn't hit Chakwa, even though they would be at war with it. Have you tried Vlad and Isabella yet? No. Okay. Now we don't just want to auto this, because we want to... I don't care who wins. I really don't care who wins. But I want to make sure that this army here gets fucked up. <laughs> so we just sit back, relax, Put your hands in your pants and wrap your fingers around your dick and just watch as these guys kill each other. <laughs> but legend, what if I don't have a dick? Ah, uh, improvise. Legend of Total War just initiated a 2,000 man masturbation stream. Alright, dwarfs and skavens, go and kill each other. Because yeah, if we auto resolve this, the dwarfs wouldn't take that much damage. Because they fight way better in auto resolve than manually. When you play as the Von Karstens, play Isabella, she gets Vlad with Hero and his quest times already. Can't wait to see Cheese. Okay, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really that interested in playing vampires in Wormer 3. But we'll see. Okay, we're back. Oh boy. This is a painful stream. I get it. There's definitely something wrong with my internet. Ah, uh, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Let's just, let's just keep going. Yeah, through a wrench and see it. Red just right up. No, it's. I get that you're joking, but no, it's just. Oh, here we go. It's just, just bad internet. It's um, this is particularly bad. Like I said, I'll have to call up the ISP. Oh yeah, go after me, son of a bitch. Okay, it doesn't affect friendly troops, so we really shouldn't use that at all. Get your proper circuit. Honestly, don't bother. Like, what's the point? What's the point? 
I'm just gonna put up with it next few months and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. So don't worry about it. I normally agree with all your takes about bounce, but the vampire can't rework and IE is really fun. That's cool. Um, I'm just not really interested. That's cool if you like it. But... I'm just not that interested in the vampire accounts. I, I played a campaign with them. I just I couldn't care less. So I'm just bringing this guy up over here so he can uh, keep an eye on them. This is good here, watching uh, these gunners get chewed up in melee. Like I said, we're not really here to help them. Oh man, they keep using the menace blows on me. That's right, they're not doing much damage. Oh man. <laughs> Use it on the dwarves. Maybe I should have just withdrawn. Well, it's not doing much damage. And I don't have a problem with the dwarfs winning here. I just want them to get annihilated in the fight, that's all. Which, they are doing really badly. Which would you rather see first, Chorps or Kislev DLC? Uh, I don't really care that much, but probably Chaos Dwarfs. As long as it's good, I don't really care what's first. Your most fun IE campaign so far? The Scarbrand campaign. That was definitely the most fun. Wolves are just getting totally wrecked out here. I'm wondering if I should maybe help them a little bit. Oh, oh shit. Look in there. I think I might help them out a little bit. This isn't going to hurt them. Because we don't want the dwarves to get army lost too early. The thing is, if we lose this battle, it won't count as a defeat. For some weird reason. It just doesn't count. <laughs> Shit, are the dwarves even winning? They couldn't even win this on their own. I'm actually helping them out now and they still can't seem to win it. Are you gonna to need to jump in there and help? No. <laughs> I don't care who wins. 
I'm just trying to ensure that maximum damage is done. That's all. To both parties. I don't care in the slightest who wins. <laughs> Why would I care? I don't get the settlement. Alright, withdraw them. Alright, it didn't army loss me. <laughs> but legend, you lose a battle! It doesn't actually count as a defeat. I think, yeah, I think the dwarves are gonna lose. <laughs> Next one will be over there if they can survive for 50 seconds. Closer to the restrict camera. God damn, the dwarfs are getting wrecked out here. We helped them out quite a bit by using them. Do you know why Dame Offensive took a break from YouTube? Uh, I don't know why. No. Oh, uh, maybe... Look, I can speculate. It might have something to do with her cat. That that would be the only reason why, but I, 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 I didn't ask. Like, she got plenty of reasons to want to take a break. So, didn't didn't need to give an explanation. Unless she wanted to. Like, I don't, I don't know. Are the dwarfs actually still going to manage to win this? They are capping points. Look at this. They are capping these points. Funny thing though, even if they win, their army is just so gone. <laughs> Which, this is exactly what I wanted. I don't care who wins, it doesn't matter. It's still playing dwarf music though. Although the towers are really grinding them down. Kind of feel like uh, the Skaven might actually win. Now, if I jump in here, I might be able to help and win. I kind of am satisfied with the amount of damage the Dwarfs has done. Because if we win the battle, we'll get loads more experience than if we lose. So I'm going to come in and help. I'm going to help this dude here. And just help him cap points. Give him essentially double the cap power. Too many people just want to watch Legend suffer. Oh, okay, well, I don't think that that's actually true. The 
Dwarfs are allies. They're not a well, We've got the same enemy, but we're not actually allies. Alright, the rest of the Dwarf forces are pretty much gone. We definitely could have won this battle if I hadn't withdrawn our forces. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wins. As long as these two here lose. Alright, now the thing is, Pestilence has already had their turn, so if this dude here gets wounded, he won't be able to replace it until his next turn, which comes after mine. So let's go sort th that one out. Might cause the armor losses though. That's it. Keep shooting the dwarf units. Let's <laughs> see if I can kill that hero that was down there. Although there's. No guarantee he's not just going to run off the battlefield. I still kind of feel like the dwarfs are going to win this battle. Although it's starting to play Lizardman music now, which is weird. Do I have this, the highest bounce of power? Alright, it's all just coming down to the last few lords. Yep, that is a dead unit. <laughs> this is the very definition of Pyrrhic victory for the for both of them. Oh, assassin. Kill that assassin. Yeah, we won. <laughs> Great victory. This is like a perfect victory for us. The dwarves could not have been more fucked up from this fight. <laughs> Holy victory, my ass! <laughs> look at, look at the dwarfs. They've only got 179 troops remaining. Beep boop. The dwarfs are not going to win this. I just don't see it. <laughs> yeah, I did need to help though. Yeah. Oh, God. Maybe you'll get the bloody trait. I don't think you get the bloody trait if it's your ally's army that gets wrecked. You didn't kill the assassin? Doesn't matter. It all gets wiped out. We won. It's a siege battle. We won. You're all dead. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dwarfs. That's better than auto-resolve. No, no, it's way worse than what would happen in Order Resolve. They occupied it. Groby Nutter. Alright, so they got a little bit of recovery on those units that remained, but not tons. Okay. Then over here, we're going to declare war on them this turn. Oh shit, Pestilence is gone. Nice. Yeah, he took Ox. Oh, he's gone. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, now. Okay. I 
Alright, let's be real. Tehenuin's gonna capture the mine of the bearded skulls and then move out from there. So, actually come around this way. These three are gonna take the Sentinels of Time and then the Thrice Curse peaked and then they'll be disbanded. You may speak before my shield bearers. <laughs> it was all a ploy. Yeah, shit. Alright, let's have a look here. Um... Probably be out of order to resolve this, given how badly damaged they are. <laughs> Suck it, dwarves! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we screwed them over so badly. I love that. Alright, there's only seven units there, so... Transfer these into here, and then we can say goodbye to these. Hang on, make sure they've not got any items on them. <laughs> Dwarves are like, oh, that was such a bad backstab on. Okay, I think we're back on. Uh, I appreciate everyone waiting this long. This has been a very shit live stream, just due to the sheer number of crashes. Uh, I can actually count how many times this has happened. Let me just count it. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, there's got to be more than that. Oh yeah, seven. Yeah, eight. something like eight times. That is a new record for like the number of stream crashes in a single stream. So, yeah, that's not good. Um, I don't think the internet is going to get any better. I think it's just going to be choppy like this for ages. I think we hit the waiting record this time. Yeah, I think you did. I appreciate you guys waiting as long as you did. We're going to end the stream now. I was going to keep playing, but I just don't see the point. It's just going to keep crashing. You know, I don't know what to do about it. Um, I'm just going to need some time to call up the internet's service provider. Oh, I got sound. Uh, internet service provider and just um, see what I can do about this because this is, I can't stream with this. You know, it's okay I guess if it, it crashes like once every now and again, but it's every day this week it's happened at least once. We can't do this. Um, so yeah, we're going to call it a day here. I'll hopefully be back tomorrow. Um, hopefully. But we'll have to see how the internet's going, because honestly, if the internet's crap again, what's the point? Um, it actually hurts the channel a lot to live stream like this. But we'll chuck a host over to someone, and we'll just call it a day. Let's let's have a look. Uh, I'm just seeing who we should host. There's a few people here I haven't hosted before, but they're going to be doing it in English. Give me a sec. Alright, I think we're going to chuck it over to Snake Nerd Gamer. Seems to be playing in English, because there's a few that aren't. Um, I don't think we've hosted him before, so let's chuck him a big host. Well, it's actually kind of a small host. Most people have left now. Um, but yeah, sorry about today's live stream. I know it wasn't a good one. Uh, in terms of... Whoops. <laughs> That's... Whoops. Old tier list. Um... No, it wasn't a good uh, live stream today. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. I cannot redirect to him. I have to pick someone else. Alright, so uh, let's see. Let's try... Okay, I think we tried most of the mad yesterday, but it wouldn't let us. Let me, let me just try it again today. 
No, it's not going to let us uh, host most of the mat either. It's weird. Alright, pick a different streamer. Let's see. <laughs> uh, let's try Linksy. We haven't hosted him in a while. It looks like he's doing something with... Um, something like a head-to-head with Radiant Ash or something. Alright, we'll see if Linksy... See if it works with him. I know you're a single player guy, but imagine Turin would be a good host. Happy to host Turin when he's doing campaigns. Happy to host Turin when he's doing campaigns. Alright. Is he doing campaign right now? I didn't even see him on the list. Okay, we're chucking it over to um, to Linksy today. Linksy and Ash are done. Oh, god damn it. Alright, well let's see then. I'll have to pick someone else then. <laughs> okay, we'll have to pick someone else. Alright, let's see... Alright, so he said, uh, Turin is streaming. Why didn't he show up on my list? Let me just check. God, I can't even get, even get a host done, right? Hey, he didn't even show up there. What's going on? 